I think that might video I, games. I think whilst I club this deer to death might be the first thing that will be said <laughs> on the, the VOD. So Good. that's cool. Good. That's cool. Good. I should actually bring the chat up and shit. Whoops. I was getting too into beating random animals to death with a wooden club. <laughs> On the hunt for monster <laughs> hogs. Monster hogs. I'll, uh, I'll sort out the social media stuff whilst there is nothing happening. Uh, just so you know, by the way, uh, yes. that RC that I got today. Yes. It's about a head and a half shorter than Laser Prime. Oh, okay. I always I, I, it or a looks... head shorter, maybe. Yeah, it looked smaller than that in pictures. I, no, I kind no, of assumed it was it's like um, just like the top of his pecs. Okay, I, I, I don't know. It has big legends energy to me. It does. I get that, but it, it's it's tall and quite thin. Huh, interesting. Is the way they've done it, and it's it's massive in creation, so they kind of stick to roughly deluxe, which is nice. Hey, people that are viewing this right now, say something in chat because it feels like their chat's dead or some shit. It's only just started. There we go, Goth. Yeah, but I see six people in chat and I expect someone to say something shit post immediately. <laughs> and yes, hello, Goth. Oh, yeah, you need to fix your donation thing. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, I do, don't I? Yeah, I did. Uh... Yeah, it only came to me the other day that I needed to sort my name. I get it. I've, I've realised I've not actually, because we've not done a fucking um, stream this this year. <laughs> uh, uh, mm. Sob, sob, sob. Feels sob, like sob. I've not not streamed in a year. Fuck you. Die. Punch. <laughs> Gore. <laughs> ah, fuck me. Uh, yes, hello, Athena, you slunt. Um, hello, Rocket, hello, Goth, and hello, Sir Knight Jones. Uh, yeah, saying it's something right now before we go back to self-flagellating an Iron Banner. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair. Um, I have been there before. Uh, take care of yourself. It's not even about getting kills, it's just getting through the fucking thing. Sometimes you just gotta do the thing. Hello, apologist. Okay, that, that took me way too long to sort out. It's fine. You know, sometimes where your brain's just like... I mean, fix a sub goal there. Just fix the donation one. Never mind. I'm doing the thing. Yeah, that's not a year. Well, I mean, I guess 0223 is, but... That, that might have been a while ago. It's a while ago. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure Streamlabs will set up. Ah. All right, cool. Okay, hello, everybody. Uh, hello. I hope you're all okay. Everything's fine. We're just going to chill out and, and club a bunch of boar over the head. We are. We are. Uh, whilst just doing the the initial light like, waiting for people to kind of um, saunter in, swearing is is okay uh, past the city yes. boy. Um, I'm Scottish. Yeah, we can't. It's actually, f I I can. Uh, at the end of the day, the um, the new uh, YouTube things that state that you can't swear in the first like fifteen seconds of a video. Are if nothing else, um, just a hate crime against Scotland. So, pretty much, <laughs> it's it's denying you your right to expression. Hello, <laughs> Titan. Oh yeah. Oh well, oh, but but uh, Stella, uh, Stella, uh, you you Willie is too far. I'm sorry. Uh, Stella is Athena or Alexis, by the way. Oh, okay. I, I did not. I did not realize. I am here to give you the heads up. Okay. I did not know that you had changed your name. Well, hello there. Make a video intro countdown to 15 seconds before dropping an F-bomb. I mean, 
if you ever me? want me to do a sound bite of that for you, just let me know. Just give the greatest oh, hey. almighty fuck. <laughs> oh, you did say you, you, you did say I just completely fucking missed that. I do want you to know that I you were uh, kind of working in the back end of like Streamlabs at the time. It's fine. And I, I do also. Uh, you, I had a weird nap earlier, so I do. So my my uh, psyche is somewhat shattered. Um. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was going to say, say something there, but I'm just going to hold that back. <laughs> Psyche shattered, butthole ruined. Uh. No, it was just going to be like the joke about the tags on a video. Uh, I'll, I'll be quiet now. I, I don't, I don't understand. That's fine. It's for the best. Okay. That's probably okay. Um, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. So I, I, I want to, I, I want to put out. A, a, this is an official. Um, statement call out. Uh, a call okay. out. This is a call out post. Um, on a very serious matter. So I went to town earlier. Um, did you ever sev- turn a transformer? Yeah, which I I didn't fully do. Uh, but but that's because today was a day of failure. Um, oh, I also tried to post something and got to the the post office at quarter past one and found out that it closes at one on a Saturday. I was like, oh, okay. oh fuck yes, yeah, Saturday shit. Um, I keep thinking this is Thursday because we're streaming together. Oh, <laughs> because we didn't stream on Thursday, so exactly. Oh, thank, you. thank you for the sub there, weird soup. Up to ten months. Thank you very much. Uh, um, but uh, but yeah. Um, so I just want to give a a, a call out post to uh, oh, I thank you, Hypnodisc, for so bad eight months. Thank you very much. Um, of uh, of our local game because they are shutting down a new. Um, oh. They're actually moving uh, to another. Oh place. right, okay. Um, but so they're we'll... getting rid of their stock rather than moving the. Well, 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 they say that they're like everything must go, and you walk in. Nothing's on sale. What the f... Is it only when you go up to the fucking till they'll tell you? No. It's just not on sale. It's just they're not restocking. That's bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) That's complete bullshit. Yeah. That's not how that system works, you bunch of dicks. Because I went in and I was like, well, you know, they they have a few. They've usually got a bunch of Transformers in there. And honestly, I've actually got some really good deals in there. That's where I got my Earthrise Megatron for 12 quid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and the Earthrise Megatron's pretty fucking good. Yeah, he's pretty decent. Well, I've got this, I've got the Siege mold, but um, and it's a shattered glass one, so it's better immediately because I'm a hipster like that. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, so I uh, I um, so I go in and uh, and yeah, so I was like looking at what Transformers they have, and admittedly, most of what they have is like, oh oh, you've got pipes. Uh, okay, I literally have him. Okay, um, F two. Um. But uh, but I, I I I did notice they did have um they had fucking black Zarek in there. What the fuck? Um, for like for eighty five quid. Holy shit! Yeah, it's a good price for him. That might be the closest you're going to get to a Scorponok now. I I I want the, the thing is I want Scorponok mostly for his color scheme. So yeah, but black Zarek's also I got a pretty good color scheme. He's the Edge Boy. I legit don't like it. I, I think it makes him look more. I think it makes him look very much like just a toy, you know what I mean? Um, what? So it, it well, I think my point Web. that my point there is that I I think it makes the thing look kind of cheap, and I don't have any connection to the character whatsoever to like, you know, go over that. So I, I'm just literally don't care. I my my perfect my perfect Scorponok would actually be a small one because I don't even like really big ones. Yeah, that's fair. However, the big Scorponok does have quite an energy to him. <laughs> it, I, I, it, it's not that he's not cool, but he's not. I, as as, as a man who cool. has the arc sitting on his desk, there is an energy to having one <laughs> big boy. I say, I, 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 the, 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 as a general rule, and you ta- feel free to quote to take this out of uh, out of context. Quote: <laughs> uh, Size does not inherently like. 
no, this is in, excite this me is in, 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 in Transformers. That's, that's fair. Uh, some things sort of necessitate that size. Mm. Um, and that's cool, but like, yeah, I, um, when it comes to like the Titans and stuff, the only one, the only one I have any real interest in is Scorponok, and that's got nothing to do with the size. It's just I really like his design and mostly mm -hmm. his color scheme. Um, so if I could get one that was like, if if they just made a Scorponok that was Voyager size, that would be perfect for me. I mean, I, I kind of feel the same way. I, I, I kind of want like a leader sized Fort Max, like IDW style, but. Mm. That's not happening. Um, oh, I did mean to say because uh, someone mentioned uh, how uh, asking me how I do my checkers on my lamenters. Oh, um, uh, I I I wish I could give more. Um, With great difficulty and a pencil. Yes. Um, <laughs> what I, what I do is I I uh, draw it uh, in in pencil first on, on the pad, um, and then I just paint the white in, uh, kind of sloppy. And then um, just tidy it up afterwards. I am a big proponent that you never have to um, you never have to do anything perfect first time because you can always fix it later. Oh yeah. Um, so uh, you know you can afford to be a little sloppy and then you refine because it's easier to mm -hmm. refine than it is to be perfect first time. Um, because I just freehand it. I mean, in fairness, if I'm doing very small areas of checks, like I do on my goblins, because I also do checks on those, because... Because you're a scar boy and you can't um, hide them. <laughs> Pick it the fuck up. Um, but yeah, I do I, I do often just freehand it on those, because usually it's a smaller area. But, um, but yeah, when I'm doing it over a curved marine pauldron, <laughs> fucking hard mode of doing a yeah. check... Um, the real oh, the, the real decision when you're doing checks on a uh, marine shoulder pad is uh, where do you want it to look right from? Because basically you have to make the decision of what angle you want it to look right from. Because mm. it's always going to be distorted because it's going around such a weird um, a weird pad. Uh, my my personal preference is to make it look so it looks it looks right from dead on. Um, mm -hmm. Which is why my things curve sort of into the pad because that means it looks straight from dead on. Um, mm -hmm. But that is actually different to how most people do it. Um, it's a balance and act. Yeah, most most people try and do it so that it's sort of it, it all like the um, the vanishing points right at the top. Um, oh, okay. Which I which I I, I don't like personally, um, mm. but that is how most people do it. We like what? it. No, I mean, I mean, we could just to kill a single hog, but fuck it. Also, don't tell us what to do. Hello, bird. Nice bird. Workbench allows you to craft. Yes, thank you. Ah, shit. If you've got any resin on you... Just throw it in there. Okay. Okay, now check if you can make some trousers. I can make rag pants. That's the ones. Okay. And... Flint axe, flint knife, flint spear. Are these all worth making right now? The knife is fine. The spear's probably more what you want. Okay. It's not... Like, I would use the cob for most things, but the spear's good for the deer. Okay. And make a flint axe. Ob yes. Yeah, obviously, if you can. Go. It is. The pact is made. I've repaired my club. Okay, I am going to sleep and then I'm going to go out and have a cigarette. So, uh, okay. I am set up in bed. I assume you want to skip time of day, but if you want to fuck around for a while, I'm okay. on the way. Well, I put I put trousers on. So, good, good. I'll be right back, everyone. Okay, I see you, man. Now he's doing a lot of damage, but only if you're sneaking. Oh, okay, okay. 
Um, I may have made a financially unsound decision. Dare, dare I ask, Rocket? Dare I ask? <laughs> Are. I am betrousered. Okay. I suppose I should probably eat it. Uh, actually, I will. Uh... Let's do some cooking whilst I am here. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice rocket. <laughs> ah, it's fine. I don't have any cookable items. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. We've done the thing. Honestly, my, my sort of... My stance when it comes to, like, um, the secondary market for Warhammer figures is that, like... Because, uh, like, older stuff... Like, if there's something that, like, you... You know, is not, st is not still in production... And it's just something you really want. Um, then, basically, if you're okay with the price, whatever, like you, you're going to get like the thing of like, it's not just a thing you buy and then put on your shelf. Um, or it can be, but like you paint it, you you exist with it. Um, you you get to enjoy it for a long a, a, a long time, and then if you're getting it out on the table, you're using it for a lot. So, you know, and if you you look after them, yeah, um, long ship, yeah, they last functionally forever. Like, um, like the, the especially the metal ones, like, and you know, you can always repair them if something goes wrong with them. Uh, obviously, there's lead rot, which is an issue you got to be concerned about if you're going really old stuff. But like. And also, like, they're not making any more of them, so if you do get one you decide you don't want it any longer, you can always, like, sell it, and it's unlikely to sell for less than what you bought it for, so, you know. I don't think, try to think about things in that kind of way, because it feels like, I don't, like, I don't, I don't want to think about these things in terms of it being an investment, because I, I, I want to use them, like, I, I'm not planning, I'm not buying these things to sell them, but, you know. Fifty euros for about fifty RTBO ones. Oh, nice! I've been meaning to actually. Um, I need. I need to grab uh, another squad of those. Actually, I'll get some in some god awful condition and then just, just th throw them in the debt hole. Um, the useful thing about RTBO ones is that because they're such a simple design, uh, they can be really fucked up and still salvaged. <laughs> because you know. You can just smooth out the bits. But, um... But, yeah, like I say, I... I, I kind of feel like, yeah, as a general rule, like... You, you know, like... If you're going to get your joy out of them, then, like... You know... Whatever... You know, you get them for as cheap as you can, but, like... Whatever. Like... It's your money. You know, that's my, my sort of stance on the thing. Like, it's obviously, like, you can spend too much on something, obviously. Like, I think it's too much. Like, when, you know, there's some figures that go for, like, 50, 60 quid for, like, a single one. Which I think is probably a bit much for a single, like, small dude. But, hey, if it's the if it's the one you really, really want, and it's an old figure that's not going to be made again, again, it's not going to get any cheaper. So, you know. And if you can afford to do that. Mm. 
but yeah, just uh, if you are going to spend a lot of money on one, just have a look around and see, like, you know, whether it's a, a good price for it or not first. Because some people do just take the piss. And yeah, watch out. That's a good point, actually, what Rocket bring up. Uh, watch out for recasts, because sometimes old sub does get recast, and you've got to kind of watch out for that. Although, frankly, I don't actually give a shit. If, if someone's just up front with, like, oh, this is a recast, I don't give a fuck. I, like, it's like, because I've got um, some, because um, I've got, like, a, a recast, um, well, it was a recast Rhino, but I've built it as a Vindicator, a uh, Mark 1 Rhino. Hello. Hello. Didn't want to interrupt. Oh, I, I was, I was, just, I, I was just making noises, frankly. I mean, that's what we always do. Yep. I have stick. Good. Stick. Good. Stab. Stab. Oh, that has a secondary fire as well. Uh, metal mouse, the one as well? Yeah. Can you can chuck the fucking thing. Okay. So you need something like 10 leather scraps, I think, for a bow. Okay. So uh, let's kill some more monster hogs. Okay, we'll go get the monster hogs. And then once we kill the monster hogs, we can kill some deer. Okay. W worthwhile, uh, like, if, if I hurl a spear at a deer, would that... Like... If you can manage to actually hit a deer with it, I'll be surprised, because okay. aiming is funky with that thing. Okay, well, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Like, if I find a deer, like, that seems like that would be an like, interesting Like, get yourself, like, see this kind of flat-ish queening? Just, like, throw it just straight. Okay, like, let me... Okay. Like... Okay, the range so ain't goes... much. <laughs> yeah, so it goes down. So let's... Let's see if I want to hit, like, there. Okay. Okay. Not too shabby. Okay. Okay. I think I, I, think I kind of... You will have to crouch up to the deer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which takes stamina when you move. Uh, is that... Oh, it's a neck. I can hear deer. I can see a deer actually running away. See, this might be the problem, is that you see the deer before I do. <laughs> and I just you just have to listen it. for the weird noises. See, now, that's just reminding me of the whole thing when there was the fucking, that song that got popular of the, what does the fox say about, oh, no one knows what foxes sound like, and it's like, I fucking I guess, do. See, I hear them every fucking night. They sound like someone being assaulted. Okay, I'm gonna... You're gonna spear that hog. <laughs> Snaking up on that hog. I'm, just, I'm getting... Now, I'm keep in mind... If you miss, you will have to beat the hog to death with your fists to get your spear back. Mate, it won't be the first time I've beat a hog today. <laughs> it did not work. But it is stabbed to death. Good. Um, fucking monster hog. <laughs> Man, I I need to watch Monster Quest with you at some point. Like, yeah, you, you, fucking yeah. hell. But those those that fucking show, I I have an odd fascination for it because it's on the one hand it like reinforces the worst fucking like. Oh, huh. this is very pretty. Huh. Is that just a pocket of Black Forest, or is that a hmm hmm? Oh. This is a queering in between two. Has this queering just cut the Black Forest biome in half? Because we've got it in the left and the right. Oh, hmm. The parting of the Black Forest. Hmm. Like, if I just... Uh... Oh, see you later, Athena. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's... See, yep, see you, yep, Athena. yep. Just, just walk into that biome. <laughs> I don't like it, that was ominous. Keep an eye out for, you know, badness. I bring tidings. 
You have wandered into the Black Forest. This place is very dangerous. Those unprepared oh, for it. Oh, yeah. Prove your worth by slaying... Guy. I already forgot his name. Eikthir. Eikthir. Oh, oh okay. um, See if you look over on your left, there's a building. I'm also seeing a deer. Also, there's, there's a, a there's a there's a gray dwarf running directly at you too. Okay. Came to the wrong fucking neighborhood. Which is, admittedly is your neighborhood. Yep. So um, actually, I guess we're monsters. See here. if you look over there to that ruin. Uh, I'm more concerned with the fact we've got like, oh, three guys running out. Okay. Yeah. I'm in real trouble getting my eye in with where the hitbox on this thing is. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, Kenya works better with a shield, I think. Oh, damn it. If I was going for this, I scared the deer off because I got too close to it. It's fine. We'll just we'll just head back because this is a bad place. This is a very bad place. There's a skeleton. 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 Warriors. Na 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 na. Let's leave. Um. Oh. I didn't realize I picked the because uh, I hurled the spear and then kicked it in the back of the head. Um. <laughs> Good. I don't know. It felt like a way to really like assert my dominance. Uh, Ake fear. Uh, Ake then rather than Ake fear, I guess. Okay. Um. Uh, meaning oak thorn. Watch yourself. I'm watching myself. No, you're... I know, I know. You didn't even pick up the bits. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like it's got very long kind of... Uh, great walk. Yeah. I just leave. Like, yeah, you fought a spear. It it has a very short hitbox. Yeah. It reminds me of the fucking uh, the heavy weapons in the first Surge game. Oh god. The, yeah, like... the, the 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 spear isn't the best weapon. It mm. it needs like this game is thankfully still in early access because it need, that needs some tweaks to be worthwhile. I think. Mm. But again, piercing weapons. It's worth having in the arsenal. Yeah. But like being able to hurl it is is useful if you get your eye in with it. Um, oh, thank you, Mothail, for the uh, sub there. Greetings, fellow humans. Yeah, thank you all. How goes the existence of meat space on this planetary rotation? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's been yeah. a bit of a day, I won't lie. But how many leather scraps have you got, by the way? Uh, five. I have two. Okay. How many do we doing? need? Like ten each. Okay. I just oh that that neck just... fucking neck. <laughs> <laughs> that neck is gone. <laughs> oh 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 wait wait wait. Okay. Yeah, take the long way around. Right. I know that this is doomed to failure. Yep. Suck my dick, dear. <laughs> I still leveled up in sneaking on you. Let's check out this queen, then maybe there's some hogs. There's a big fucking tree. Big tree. Big... I don't think I haven't built a longboat yet. Uh, how did they suppress the captain away? Um, yeah, they're mainly because we don't even have bronze fucking nails yet. I, I only just acquired trousers. <laughs> also that. Before that, I was just freeballing it. You've not even got good trousers. You don't have, like... I mean, we I'm don't have leather gear. We have leather <laughs> scrap gear. <laughs> like, like, oh, yeah, I don't even have good trousers, so I'm still technically freeballing it. It's just my legs I mean, are covered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's still a hole there. Yeah. Uh, also, we don't have shoes. But I have got run 13. Nice. Uh, that's more Black Forest. But also. 
some raspberries. I'm waiting for you to get close enough that a troll just walks out from the trees and we're like, well, this is this is where we die. I'm expecting it to be kind of like a Skyrim like thing and it just wanders out and then just hits me and it punts me like 300 feet in the air. Oh god, I I I love Skyrim. <laughs> I'm that asshole. Um I I I like I my my problem with Skyrim was that I enjoyed every part of it that wasn't like the main oh, yeah. storyline uh, quest. Uh, thank you, mutant. Press R, you move faster when you don't have a weapon out. Oh, oh, okay. So if you press R, you just put it in your back. Okay, thank you. I did not know that. I forgot that. Um, like I say, I do no, I know shit about this game. That's um, fine. Um. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed everything. I, I enjoyed Skyrim a lot, but I, I just didn't really enjoy like the main quote unquote quest. Yeah, no, that that's, like, I found that, that really dull. <laughs> the uh, main whereas, quest sucks, so I just like, modded the fuck out of it. Like I, I went, I played, I played a bunch of it, and like I did the was it oh, was it the companions? Like I sort of naturally yes. settled into doing that quest line. I was like, oh, this is fun, and I enjoyed the that kind of run through. The, the, the companions are awesome. And then it was like, oh, now go do actual like questline stuff, and I was like, mm, no. <laughs> also, the, the 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 leader of the storm cloaks is a prick. Uh, didn't help. Mm. Skyrim's for the Nords. I'm like, yeah, independent. Oh wait, no, you mean just for the Nords and no one else? Okay. Mm. Mm. I uh, I per personally, I I find that I just have a very low tolerance to um, Bethesda questlines, Bethesda things. So like. You know, like I played to like the only ones I've I've played to like I could deal with to play to like an extent was Skyrim, which I never beat, but I played I played a fair bit of, but I just never mm -hmm. beat it. And Fallout Four because it it was it was a shooter that also had an RPG in there somewhere. Yeah, it was. And fine. the the main quest line was the worst part of that game. Yeah. Um, to uh, but not give a fuck about my character having a child in the slightest. <laughs> Oh my god. To be fair, your character doesn't care about it either. <laughs> Apparently so. Oh, there's a there is a ruined building right beside our house. Huh. Hey, um, uh -huh. The only one the only one I like unambiguously I'm like, no, this is amazing and I have played through multiple times is um New Vegas. There. Oh yes. <laughs> Sorry. There's <laughs> just something funny about the fucking Oh yes. Um, that's a hobby. Turns out it was mixed up with the components he ordered for the PC. A cam card is actually a cam link. Oh, okay. Turns out a cam link is a pro level capture card with an inbuilt video mixer, so failing up. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. dang, hobby. Cool hobby. <laughs> Rad. I give it a bit as well. Um, cool, yeah, you have to let us yes, know how the whole thing goes. Yes, indeed. Thank you for the 100 bits. The, the Munner is good. Munner. The Munner supports the web. It, allows... it makes me uh, able to whisper in his ear about Transformers. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that we are both the demons on each other's shoulders when it comes to Transformers. Yes, yes we are. <laughs> God, yeah, the club just has such a bigger hitbox. Yeah, the axe does as well. Because it uses the same moveset. Get back does here, you little fucker. Do more damage, or...? Uh, it... Can to certain things. Oh, okay. So it's a damage type thing. Yeah, it's a damage type thing. Skill improved. Axes won. Yeah, because axes are. <laughs> oh, God, I don't fucking remember. Slash damage and. Uh, clubs are not. Clubs are blunt, I guess. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's just go reset the time. Why is there a random fact about Transformers button? That is an excellent point. I shall. Oh, God. Do we have to start talking about the fact that um, Sex Shot became a good guy? Uh, so when he became, was it Great Shot? Yes. Which and was originally a paint that is nowhere near as good. Yeah. Uh, which was originally a. Uh, I heard a monster um, hog. Yeah. Which was originally a fan theory that they were the same character, um, but then it became confirmed later. Nice. Because I think he shows up in I think Super God Master Force. Think. Yeah. Is he either that or victory? Actually, no, it might be victory. 
Uh, I think Great Shot's Victor, yeah. Yeah, Victory's the one I always just but entirely Super God Master about. Force might be where Six Shot comes from. Six, oh, shot, oh, six shot appears at the end of... Well, he 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 first shows up in the very last uh, episodes of G1 cartoon, and he's okay. a major antagonist in the Headmaster's cartoon. Oh, Super God Master Force? Yeah. I could eat another bite. Uh, I mean, if you want to get the... Um, if you want to get the real shit, it's like super life form robot transformers. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Super God Master Force is just what the um, the third series is called. In, yeah, mutant uh, in fucked Japanese himself over there, mate. Well, What? I was just cooking. No, I said mutant fucked himself oh. there. Oh. Doesn't even care about transformers, but asked. Yeah. No. You... This is this is what these streams are: is um, us uh, doing something and then eventually. Um, getting onto a whole Transformers thing. Like, I need to fucking talk about how fucking oh. shit Ultimate Expanse is. <laughs> why? why? So, you okay? Sorry, it's just that being in the bl in, in blue made me really go for a, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Oh, you got a dream message. Yes. Um... Random 40k fact. Um, did you just put meat on the hook and go to sleep? No. I put meat on the hook, then took meat off the hook, and then went to sleep. Mm. Um, How many scraps have you got? Um, I have six. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Okay. Stop moving first. No, I can I forever moving. Take that. Moving. Okay. Go hunt some more fucking... Hogs to get some uh, to make a bow, and while you're away, I'll cook all the fucking meat you have left. Uh, I have enough to make a bow. Oh, do you? Is yeah. it eight then, rather than ten? Yes, yes. Good. Make the bow. Um. Uh. uh we all know these streams are transparent ruse to get uh, to get uh, to get us to listen to your Transformers rants and conspiracy theories. Yes, yes. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think that's uh, <laughs> that's ever um, been in question. So yeah, ultimate expands. Uh, oh yeah, there was a, there was a forty k fact uh, redemption. Oh, um, uh, uh, Yadix gay. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Yeah. Also, his um, his bane blade has one of my favourite names in all forty k. Yes. Uh, the fortress of arrogance. I, I fucking love it. It's second. It, it's it's my second favorite, like unreasonably hard name for anything. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite one is the name of the ship from Bucky O'Hare, the Righteous the Indignation. Righteous Indignation, yeah. Uh, which is why I tend to name things <laughs> that whenever I get an opportunity. Uh, yeah, no. Um, Ultimate Expanse. Uh, for people that don't know, Ultimate Expanse is a. Um, oh, yeah, I, pre I, have to, I presume I have to make arrows. I, I gave arrows. you the arrows that oh, I okay. found. So I have 18 arrows. You can go and make more. I think you can make some wood arrows, just basic ones. Uh, can you pick up arrows once you fire them? No. Oh, okay. I was you just can gonna... make like 20 wood arrows from eight bits of wood, though. Okay. I just wanted to quickly test how it fired, mm. so, you know. I understand. Um, but yeah, no. Um, Ultimate Expanse is a crossover between... Um, Crafting station needs a roof. Um, There's a crafting station in the shed. Oh, is that? That makes sense. Yes. There's also a, a chest with wood in there. There we go. There we go. I have a bunch, bunch of arrows now. Um, but yeah, so it's it's an X Men um, and Transformers crossover. So basically, it's the X Men's X Jet, the Blackbird. Yeah, it's um, the Blackbird. It's, it's the SR seventy one Blackbird. Yeah, it's I think SR... it's actually licensed by Lockheed Martin. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's an extensive retool of the Jetfire toy. So yeah, um, from the movies, so that's why you know they have it. Um, I mean, and I'll, I'll go find pictures for chat. Yeah, it originally cost something you, like eighty you go ninety. Fucking quid. Hunt. I'll catch up. Okay. Yeah, it originally cost like eighty odd quid or something. Um, mm. It cost. It was. Ex, it was fucking expensive. Um, and then um, uh, it's uh, basically because uh, no one wants it. 
uh, because it sucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's been uh, coming down in price. Like, um, real hard. Oh, okay. Wow, the fucking dive on that is like the... Uh... The drop? Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, shit. Guys got there first. God damn it. Thank you, guys. Um, but yeah, um, it came down to 20 quid. So that's cheaper than a modern deluxe, which is the standard size transforms. And this thing's pretty big. It's like, mm-hmm. um, for people that aren't aware, uh, the size up from deluxe is Voyager, and the size above that is Leader. Uh, these are mm-hmm. Leader size um, yeah. expanses. So, you know, it's a toy that would normally cost about 50 quid, and it was 20. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll get it for a video. It was a toy. No, it does not cost 50 quid. It cost 80. Well, yeah, a re- well I mean, a, a leader class toy would normally cost about that. Mm. These ones are mm. more expensive. I think Jetfire was about 80 as well. Possibly. I, I don't know. I, I don't pay attention to the Bayformer stuff because it sucks. Um, Jetfire's not. I'm talking about my Jetfire. No, no, it's not that Jetfire, it's a retail one. Oh, is it based off of the... Yeah, oh, exactly. of and that's that Commander Class. Fucking sense, so, wouldn't it? Uh, that's, yeah, it's Commander Class, so that's a bigger one. Sorry, my mistake. I thought it was Commander, actually. No, no, this isn't. Yeah, no, fuck me. Leader class. Sorry, sorry, um, sorry. But yes. But, uh, but, but, oh, okay, so you get better bows and stuff, so that's what affects... Oh, okay, that that sort of makes sense. Yeah, the, 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 the bow you've got right now sucks. Okay, if I you couldn't tell already by the look of it being t- basically just a branch. Well, yes. Um, but yeah, um, I uh, yeah. So I got I got this thing, and I was I I, I knew it wasn't great, um, like which is mm. why I wasn't going to spend any more than twenty pounds on it. And yeah. um, if anyone that spent full price on it, uh, if There's they a deer there. see right in between oh, the trees oh, yeah. that I'm looking at. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm really trying to figure out crouch, like, crouch over and you get the sneak attack bonus as well. Or like one shot it. Okay. Oh, that's the one star deer as well. Oh, good hit. <laughs> so squirrely. Yeah. Come back here, you dick. We need to kill it now. Um, but yeah, um, so I, I got this damn thing. Mm-hmm. And my introduction to it was it comes in vehicle mode. Um, and um, the moment that I got it out, I noticed one of the wings was so loose that it literally could not sit flat. Like, you couldn't actually make it stay in its full mode. It just flopped mm-hmm. instantly. You know the sort of thing that happens to like say uh, a, a plane former that you that originally came from the mid eighties and it's now just gone loose, but you kind yeah. of accept that because it's from the mid eighties. Whereas this is brand new in box. Yeah. Um. And uh, so I'm like, okay, that that's a problem. Uh, then then it it falls off. Um. <laughs> oh god, I'm getting fucking gored. Oh, I need to eat some food. I realized I didn't eat food when I woke up this morning. You know, when you forget to eat breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just regenerate some fucking health. Um, I need then... to punch this thing once and it dies. Yes, thank you. <laughs> With the two of us. Can two deer meat, deer hide, more deer meat. Excellent. Excellent. Um, yeah, I, I, I know that mutant. I just uh, I, I just forgot that I hadn't eaten. Um, um, but yeah, so I so I got it. I'm like, okay, well that's that's a fucking issue. The wing's fallen off and it like doesn't really work. Okay, and then I try yeah. and transform it. And so the way the legs work is that they. It has uh, it, it's it's ratcheted and it's got a very strong ratchet in the in the top of the leg and then it has knee ratchets but it also has double knees both of which are ratcheted. Um, and these knees, well, these these three joints 
are all the strongest ratchets I have ever felt on anything in my to life. To the point that you don't want to move them. Yeah, and I include the th I include Lightning Eagle in this, the giant third party thing that he needs has ratchets. like. I bet you he'll have like Lightning Eagle has the joints that are stiff, like stiff ratchets, but they're also smooth as hell. Um. So some of them are smoother than others, but it needs them. Mm -hmm. It needs them yeah. to be strong. This doesn't need them to be that strong. In fact, they are so strong that when you're tr that you legitimately cannot tell if the part can move, uh, because it feels like you're just going to break the plastic. Because it's not made of these aren't like metal things. These are just like plastic. And because it has two ratchets that are next to each other, um, it means that when you want to like do one. Um, you end up turning the other one and they're so stiff it's actually really difficult to separate them but it means mm. that when they go it's sudden so you can feel that your fingers get very close oh. to getting trapped in it all the time uh, 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 nope, nope, bad all of this is bad um, and it means that basically like it's nearly impossible to have any fun with to pose like it's trans and also it's nearly impossible to get it back into its, its plane mode once you've done it once because the thing that the transformation is heavily reliant on getting the legs in very specific positions, mm -hmm. and the legs are so hard to maneuver that once you've got them kind of vaguely in their transformed mode, you literally don't have the space to move them. Right. Um, picked up a great piece of trivia today himself. Uh, what was the first uh, female Transformers toy? No. Well, that is a complicated toy? question. Toy. toy. It's Minerva. It's Minerva, yeah. However, um, retroactively... Uh, there's basically a Scalectric set uh, that her, the character from that has retroactively been declared female. So that's technically the first female one, but the first actually female one if is it, Minerva. It, is Minerva. Which is a Headmaster Junior, I want to say? Yes. Uh, made from the same mold as Nightbeat, if I remember yep. correctly. Uh, but yeah, there was like a Transformer Skeletric set that had like two oh. generic bots in it that would run around as like but as like cars, but you could also pop them up. It wasn't Skeletrics, it was it was a slot car thing. Just Okay. Like, you know, it wasn't licensed Skeletric stuff, it was just another slot car thing. I just call, always call them Skeletric because that's just Because that's Hello <laughs> Christ Hog. From stage left, the monster hog. Um But yeah, and then you could like say pop them up. Um, they kind of look like throttle bots almost. Oh, okay. Um, but like in reverse, if I remember rightly, they pop up from the front rather than the back. Um, right. And uh, and yeah, and one of those was retroactively de declared female. So that they are technically the first female bot now, but mm. uh, in a in a in, in a the female bot actual, toy that is. Yeah. Th th there there was a prototype RC toy, and it's oof, oh boy, it's rough. <laughs> Oh boy, now I'm having flashbacks of seeing that thing. It's <laughs> it's up there with like the G1 Unicron toy to like. Oh, I don't I kinda fucking knock in the G1 Unicron toy. No, I kinda I kinda want Bolicron to exist. Oh, uh, there is a third party company that's bringing one out. Good. Uh, they're currently doing one. Oh, is that not ba uh, Bolvatron rather than Bolicron though? Uh, I know there or is Galva Ball. There is Gal <laughs> Galva Ball does exist as a, as I believe an accessory for like it's it's. <laughs> It's a, a very small, might be like New Age or something. Um, okay. Uh, Galvatron. Uh, but uh, but yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about, uh, good. Uh, I'm glad for good, you. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. Stay blessed, Yeah. Mushroom. Mushroom. I don't. Well, the mushrooms come in handy. At the moment. I don't think they will until we can make a cauldron. I want to say. Well, I have one now. Hello friend. there, Ranger Rumble. Hello. Yeah, the grand tradition of rough RC toys, like, I, I, um, I only have one RC toy. It is unfortunately Earthrise RC. <laughs> but I did get her for like eleven quid, so you know, whatever. She, 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 it's nice to have an RC on the shelf. Look, in nineteen eighty, well, probably what mid eighty five, they were doing their best with that RC toy, okay? <laughs> and it is just a prototype. Um, yeah. Also, that is from like uh, you know, the the eighty six movie, 
um, mm -hmm. sort of era of toys, and those have a very different vibe to the. Um, there, like, there's a reason for board, the. So. There's the, there's a reason for the 80, like eighty six movie era toys looking or, or having a different vibe. It's because Floro Deary designed them as uh, oh, yeah. cartoon things first, and not as a uh, toys. So. It's kind of wild Fuck when you, you watch designers. Uh, when you watch the movie or the um, season three of the show where it where it like took in movie stuff mm. uh, and uh, and just the difference in design between uh, the the original bots and the new bots like you can mm. totally just just say it's oh it's because well they just they've still just got their Cybertronian mode so that's just more yeah. what native Cybertronians look like and yeah. The ones we see are just, you know, this is what they look like once they've got Earth alt modes and shit. Oh, oh. Um, Weird Soup, you are mostly correct. Um, Galvatron did want to become Unicron, which is hence Ooh. the Balvatron thing we we're just talking about. Ah, oh, just fucking one shot deer. Nice. Uh, and um, the Autobots threw, made him drop into an iceberg and freeze. And then he came back as Super Megatron in a TV guide manga. Yep. <laughs> have bone fragments nice um yeah no transformers law is deep and confusing especially japanese because yeah g1 just never stopped yeah i I've only, I've, I've only seen a bit of the japanese continuity stuff like i've watched a handful of the headmasters mm -hmm. uh, and i've watched uh, a little bit of super god master force um, mm -hmm. and i've watched transformers zone but that's like an ova so is that the was that the one with Train Prime, or was that Go? No, that's Transformers Go. Uh, uh, okay, the, the Optimus Prime that turns into a train that notably never lands on rails and flies. Mm -hmm. um, Does it and... at least have like light rails under it? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, and uh, and also is a triple changer that's also a dragon. And the toy mm. is rough as shit. <laughs> that does not surprise me. Oh, I, oh, by the way, it was a one star deer. Yes, that I one shot. By the way. Nice. You can get closer than you think you can if you're sneaking mm. as well, which mm. helps. Come on, I need one more oh, boar. Yeah. I forgot to fucking thingy my uh... thingy my thing. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, I I talk for a living, by the way. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> it's it's funny when like cause I, when I'm talking to my dad because my dad like does um, training okay. for a little. Like, his job is like training enough. people. Yeah. Um, so like we have this thing where where like both of us like getting tongue tied over something and it's like yeah both of us talk for a living and we're both terrible mm -hmm. at this. Also, just have a stone. I do like how enormous the fucking salmon are. They're very fun. Most of my horrible thoughts the night in the Norse Nine Realm settings. Where Cybertron is Jotunheim. Yeah. And Transformers are the giants possessing large, varied bodies and the ability to shape shift and disguise themselves as a mystery. This is something they could do. This is something. Yeah. I actually, legit, um, I, I think they could do a fun, th a fun thing by doing, like, uh, Transformers, but, like, kind of, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, Transformers wearing cloaks. So, yes. you know. Uh, Convoy Council. Yes. Drift um, in the IDW comics. Mm. Uh, was it was it Nightbeat that wore the detective coat? Yes. <laughs> uh, Nightbeat, co Nightbeat had the trench coat and fedora, I think. Yes, which is <laughs> hilarious. Um, but yeah, like, so uh, Transformers wearing, like, furs, I could get behind that. Um, basically... Nightbeat was a detective, if you're wondering. <laughs> yes, yes. Um... <laughs> You okay there? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, in 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 a, in a real in a, in a real sense, uh, uh, the fabric goods on on Transformers doesn't make sense because of them getting stuck in uh, bits of transformation. But also, uh, notably, cars can't turn into giant robots. So did you uh, see that conversation me and Shane has had earlier? <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's like, "Why does our Mag our Mada Megatron have pincers in his head?" And I just replied, "Because he's fucking fabulous." Yeah. Um, and this kind of went on for a bit. And then uh, I mentioned, like, oh, yeah, the, the tank mode has the pincers from his head out the front to, like, grab minicons and shit. And mm. 
but yeah, real tanks don't have those. I went, yeah, real tanks don't turn into giant robots either. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we watched the 86 Transformers movie and forgot how brutal it is. Oh, the um, 86 <laughs> movie is we goes <laughs> Everyone really dies. That movie has such a weird fucking vibe to it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It is that movie it's, goes. It's eighties nostalgia, like just encapsulated in one movie. So like, but it goes hard. So like, um, I, this this is a really specific reference, but like, if you've ever watched um, Botsmaster, no, um, Botsmaster is like um um a, a TV series that never fucking shuts up and it's really fucking annoying. Also, hello <laughs> Doom Sheridan. Wait, uh, yeah, hello and thank you for the raid. Um uh Botsmaster is a show from the 90s that goes hard uh, that like just never fucking shuts up ever. It's 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 fucking can cannot will not shut up ever. Um and the the eighty six Transformers movie is very similar to that, except uh, the difference is Botsmaster is very annoying, uh, and the Transformers movie. What's the, what's the main character's name again? Just so everyone's on the same page here. Ziv Zoolander, ZZ there for you short. Go. You know he fights the corp. He's the Botsmaster. There you go. Listen up, you all, you boys' brigade. When it's laser time, put on the three D shades. It's laser time, boys. Now imagine that done as a terrible 90s rap. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I had a bunch of leather. Hmm. Do you, do you oh want... god, all the, all the meat. Damn it. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, I set myself on fire. To fire, it's fine. It's fine, just make sure all the meat's not fucking... I grabbed it all. I grabbed it all. I'm getting the vibe of Samurai Pizza Cats. Yeah, but Samurai Pizza Cats is apparently great compared to that because it, it knew what it was. I, I remember watching it as a kid, but I don't remember a single thing about it. Honestly, that's like me and Beast Wars. <laughs> Beast Wars is genuine. Is genuinely really good. Like, I rewatched yeah, it recently. Yeah, but I was a dumb kid. Oh yeah, I mean I watched it as as a, well. Beast Wars came out at that sort of time because what it was ninety six, ninety seven. Beast Wars. I want to say it was ninety eight, but I may be wrong. Um. So um. Wait, uh, hey chat, who remembers? What do you need for leather armor? I thought it was just leather. Hmm. 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 Oh well. Figure it out in the morning. Okay. So I, I'm just I'm just following your uh, your thing. Um. Yeah, be, uh, Beast Wars looks pretty rough, but um, honestly, if you can get over the look of it, um, Beast Wars is still it's still worth worth a watch. If if you if you're interested in watching kids cartoons <laughs> from the nineties, it has some really good episodes and some and some good moments. Um, Thank you, Mod Hill. Has some very silly moments as well, of course. But of course. Uh, but then it's Transformers. It is inherently quite silly. Um, yes. I didn't. I didn't uh, mean to say. Do, do you? I um, away some bone fragments. Do, yeah. do you want to um, maybe mention uh, the the idea that I I I talked to you oh. about earlier and maybe have dragged you into? Or would you prefer not to talk about it? Because that is fine. You do it. Okay. Um, so we might we might have a, a, a new oh, thing. Level two workbench. Got it. Thank you. Ah, excellent. Oh, thank you for the sub there, Ranger Rumble. Uh, uh, hope, uh, oh, that takes a lot of leather scraps. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Uh, you're in print over the last few years. We hope so too, Ranger Rumble. I hope yes. it is for you as well. Um, but yes, um, we we are going to be doing a a a. Men with Funny Heads Limited Series, shall we say. Don't make it sound more important than us. It's not. It's not important. It's a, it's a dumb thing for us to enjoy doing silly shit. Uh, mm. um, ah, it's reconnected. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
yes. Sorry, everybody. Uh, yes, uh, I think that has has confirmed that uh, there is some shenanigans going off mm. uh, with our internet that I can now, uh, knowing it is definitely a thing, I can look into it. Yeah. But yes, uh, sorry about that, folks. Shit happens, my friend. Um, what's it talking about? Uh, men's oh. funny heads limited CDs. Oh yes, yes. We will be we will be doing a a limited little little series. Um, don't know I don't know exactly exactly when this will be happening, but um, yeah, we both need to be like in fighting shape again. <laughs> well, and it's... I'm still fatigued as shit. I don't know how how you feel. If you're getting yeah, we'll, a nap every five minutes, uh, we'll 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 wait for you to get over because I'm I'm mostly fine now, um, but we'll we'll wait for you to. Um, to... Yeah, I think yesterday was the worst day I've had in a while, which is why my stream ended early and shit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but yeah, what we're gonna do is we are going to watch. Uh, we are going to watch through uh, the uh, Michael Bay Transformers movies. Uh, and then instantly, I, like watch them together, and then instantly afterwards try and summarize the plots of those movies without notes. Because those that is movies, the general idea. That anyway. is the general idea. I, like, I'm I'm personally okay with like say taking like if there's say a point that we really want to make, like taking a note for that. But like we're not allowed to take notes to like to remember the plot. Yeah, there's only. <sighs> Like, I think the first movie will be fine. In my brain, there's only, like, two ways this works. It's Well, no, there is two ways this works. We do that, or we do a riff tracks. <laughs> and just have people sync up the fucking things so they can watch it with us. I, I, you know, I don't even think that would... Uh, I, I don't even think we'd be able to do that, because the movies are people talking so constantly, getting a word in edgewise. Like... Oh, God, yeah, you're right. That's a shame. Um, Okay, I will cut. I will come find where you are. I'll take your time. I'm just out here slaughtering things with a bull. Okay. Oh, bless you, hobby. Yeah, I, I, uh, um, uh, that might uh, if if we're making things uh, again, I may revive the uh, the, the SoundCloud thing because it got taken oh, off SoundCloud God. just because it was you know we weren't updating it and it was. Uh, we, you know, we were paying for it. We were paying for it, and it was, um, you know, <laughs> it was adding up. It's expensive. Um, but uh, sucks. But yeah, so uh, we're going to go through the Michael Bay movies. Um, so there's five of those. I will take your fuck me fight. Oh. Um, okay. But we could also, if if we end up enjoying doing it. Uh, there is also uh, the Bumblebee one, which, uh, although technically is still Michael Bay produced, it's a coherent fucking movie. Uh, that's a good movie. Um, yeah. So that legitimately, like Bumblebee's counts. actually a good movie. <laughs> although I feel like halfway through, we should probably take a break to do the '86 Transformers movie. Yeah. Uh, because although that is a fun movie that I love and might be the most quotable movie to ever exist, because like every other line is immensely quotable. Are uh, we? Grand Ali Minibong. Brilliant baloney. <laughs> Excuse me. Not me. Bo uh, me not bozo, me king. Um, oh, it's Grimlock, but... Um, you know, uh, one shall stand, one shall fall. Thought you were made of stern and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's mm -hmm. every, every, every line is just fucking amazing. Uh, in, in just a weird way. But it is also utterly incomprehensible in its plot. Oh, yeah. So I feel that could make for a... Uh, an interesting comparison because that's an incomprehensible movie that's fun as opposed to an incomprehensible movie that's the last night mm. Mm. but i would be intrigued because i also do just kind of want to see uh, like watching the f the first movie again because that's the only one that i in my memory have any kind of fond memory of mm. and i think the fondness may die pretty quick as soon as fucking jazz appears and says this looks like a fun place to kick out or whatever Fuck he says. Yeah. Um, 
Although I do want to say, like, one of, one of the things I was going to go into it with is, like, you know, uh, an explicit thing is, like, because I know a lot of people got into Transformers by watching these, so they have real fond memories of them. Much oh, like, yeah. Much no, like we're going like to into fucking yeah. shreds, I'm sorry. Like, like, I'm going to take the piss, but also, like, you know, if you like this stuff, like, who cares? Like, not going to judge you for that. Like, Oh, yeah, no. Oh, I'll... yeah, Skeds and fucking... Uh, I'm not drift, is it? Uh, skids and mudflap. Mudflap. There we go. Uh, the really racist spots, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The That's really racist Astonishingly spots. racist. Like, oh my like, god, how, how did... did this get through QA? Racist. Like, like, how did it, how did this get shown to any screening ever in front of anybody? Um, and them not go, you need to not do this. Mmm. Taste non-existent. Uh... <laughs> Christ. Yeah, it's um Ah. I'm assuming you get level you level up things for sneak when you're sort of within someone's life. I think so, yeah. So like if you want to level up your sneak, I can just walk backwards and forwards whilst you're hunting. Yeah. I'm just doing interpretive sneaky dance behind you. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, yeah, I, I, it was, it's a funny one because I'm like thinking like, oh, if I'm if I'm like thinking about the movies and which one I I dislike the most, like I like that actually gets into a complicated thing. Because, which is like, the one where you see the Autobots fighting the Nazis? Uh, that is the last one, which is awesome. yeah. That's pretty rough. That might be the that might be the worst m movie of them. Actually, no, no. I think uh, the one before that, um, Age of Extinction, that might be the worst one. Um, I remember that being really bad. The fact that you're saying that, and I can remember a specific point, and I think the second movie where I am directly beneath the enemy scrotum is said. Um, speaks volumes about the quality of these films. Now, I... You see, now the thing is, I know that movie sucks out loud, but I've seen all of them, so I know how bad they get. Mm. Like, I seem to remember Revenge of the Fallen was at least comprehensible, uh, whereas the later ones... Yeah, which why... one was Give Me Your Face? I think, that, is that the... That's, that is Revenge of the Fallen, because, yeah, he removes the face off, um... The Fallen. Is there a reason um, to rip the, the Fallen's face off? Because Michael Bay doesn't understand Optimus Prime as a character. I mean, a lot of people don't, but no, what I'm saying is is, is, is there a like story reason? Is, is, is his face a mask that's a device? His face is a mask. Um... Uh, which one had a guy defending child marriage? It was it was the Romeo and Juliet laws. Um, oh God! Uh, that is in um, Age of Extinction. <laughs> where they were like, where you're sitting there and going like, well, I mean, I guess Mark Wahlberg is a better actor than Shia LaBeouf, but also. He's, he's a, a complete more, bell. He's, he's a, a more, horrendous person. <laughs> like, I I find it more difficult to watch him because I find him as a person much more objectionable. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the first two Bayformers movies in B? Oh, Harvey, don't don't watch. Don't watch the later ones. They become much worse. Hold up, hold up, um, hold up. I can hear them. And there's a grey ling coming directly towards us. But yes, we will we will watch them. So you don't have no. I'm not going to finish that. Mm. Um. Mm. Yeah, like the one one of the things uh, I find like with the with the Michael Bay movies um, is like just there's there's a mean spiritedness running through them. Yeah, that I find just very curious. That's that's, that's the thing. It's it they're, they're just strange to me. Like how they they take like so many things that i think are fun about transformers and remove them um but they're also so many people's like 
they, they, they were the gateway for a lot of people. I get yeah. it. And like, although so if people... you say that uh, the Bay, Michael Bay version of Optimus is the best version uh, in terms of style, you can. Leave you're wrong. Them. You're objectively wrong. Even though your your subjective opinion is objectively wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I hope people can tell from the fact that I am laughing while saying that, that I do not mean that. Mm-hmm. But um, no, Bumblebee is legitimately good. Yeah, because it's 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 not. Michael Bay's got very little to do with that. It's made by different people. He's just a producer on it. Um, and I think Michael Bay's the kind of producer that just sits there and uh, takes a paycheck. Yeah, pretty much. But, um... Uh, hold on, hold on, listen. Nothing good. I'm cooking. You cooking? Mm. God. Oh yeah, I've, heard, I've, prime bit, I've never read any of them, but I have heard they, uh, the IDW comics of the, the movie verse stuff are alright. Also, it seems that whenever they got to like do like a, a di like they, they tended to make the designs a little bit more comprehensible as well. Mm. I don't have any more. <gasps> A leather tunic appeared. I wonder what this means. Uh, the bench uh, behind you, uh, the other one fell. Uh, the, the trousers are there. Okay. Ah, I see. Now, give me all the leather you have. <laughs> okay. One second. Just cooking that last bit of food. Uh, what? Uh, can you do anything with like the rag pants? Like, can you like say? No, no, I, I just need the deer hide. Oh, deer hide, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, I've got like two deer trophies. Uh, put them and well, give me the deer hide, and I'll show you. Okay. That. I gave I gave you the deer hide, so I gave you the head. Oh, you did right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, see this chest here? Hmm. I've been bugging all the trophies in there. Oh, okay. Oh, someone else is using it. Who, who we will never know who. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rad. Yes, yeah, so Alita One was in the movie. So was Chromia, and RC. Mm. They were one being. Weird Gestalt organism, which, like, as an idea, I'm not like wholly against because, like, Transformers has always had a, a weird relationship with like Gestalt organisms. But like, mm -hmm. I'm not sure that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But I mean, whatever they rarely do. I'm 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 one of those people that's like no I actually think the Japanese trans tech to way of doing headmasters it's is better. just way better. It, no, it is better. It, there's, like, there's no ifs ands or buts. Hmm. Like, should a headmaster and the transformer body be two separate entities, or should it be that the uh, the, the transformer body is a mech suit? That the headmaster goes on. Well, yes, Mexu. It just it just it means there are less questions. Yeah, <laughs> like like so why does Daniel, Daniel is... become RC's head? Which is so weird. Yeah, for those who don't know, and um, Transformers G One cartoons. Is it the Rebirth? I can never remember. Yeah, the Rebirth. Um, it was the, the Daniel source... Witwicky, the human, becomes RC's head. And has yeah. to fucking destroy his body and like making it into a fucking pretzel to do so. Uh, I feel like you should know what Gestalt means. Uh, it's it's a, a being that is made of multiple other beings. Mm -hmm. uh, to make it very very simple, uh, it's a German word, I believe, originally, which means I'm definitely pronouncing it wrong. Yes, Titan John Goodman bot was supposed to be hound. Yes. I, f I found a hound toy that I'd forgotten I had the other day. <laughs> I had I had a tiny turbo changer, one of the really, like, tiny little blind bag things. I found it under a dresser, and I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, I had that. Um, I'll need, like, a fungus. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of like a mycelial network. Um... Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, but, uh... Oh, Why yeah. didn't they use the mycelial network again? It's like, because it seems dangerous as shit. And they do use it. Like, 
all the time in Discovery, but then it's explicitly like a no, 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 no. Why, why don't they use it in like TOS, or why doesn't Voyager use it to get back home? Is the questions I was. I'd like to introduce people to the concept of prequels. Um, Yeah, also bad faith. This is a question you could ask (laughs) about literally every prequel that has ever been made. Um, Come on, dear, I need more. Oh fucking up. So I had a moment uh, in the toy shop um, earlier. A different mm-hmm. toy shop to the one I was returning things in, uh, because um, I'm a grown up, and whenever I go to town, I go in all the toy shops. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but there's a, a guy there who I'm quite, who I'm quite friendly with, um, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't mean I give him a hand job. I mean like he's. he's I mean you do anyway, but that's beside the point. He he he. We we talk about Transformers sometimes, because um, he he knows like all the release dates and shit. <laughs> mm. But um, but I bought Snipe. There's um, you know the little Lego Micro Fighter things. Yes. Um, they've released a um, Slave Razor Crest. Oh right. Oh, we've got the Razor Quest crest already. I was thinking um, that. Yeah, I was getting. Um, that. That's my old but uh, but they released the Slave One, or you know, officially like not. It's not labeled as Slave One. For well, Lego anymore. doesn't label it as such. Yeah. And then um, people took that as like some sort of fucking sense. Uh, but that just, but yeah, a, a little micro fighter came out and it's adorable. Um, mm-hmm. If if you like little micro fighters and you're willing to pay nine pounds for one, um, then you know, really good little one. Yeah. Um, but um, I got it. I got it for Snipe because obviously, like Snipe likes like some Mandalorians. Can, can we take a moment to appreciate the uh, the lighting in this game while you're talking about this? It's rather pretty. Rather pretty. Yeah. Um, but uh, but when I was getting it, the guy came up to like the person who was serving me and was like, like you know, uh, everyone was so mad about this online, yet but it's the best selling Lego Micro Fighter that's ever come out. Why um, are people angry? Is that literally just? And, I was like, and he was like, and, and the, the lady was like, why are people angry about it? And I was like, was it because oh, it's got a different name? And, and he was like, well, yeah, there is that. But it was also because all oh, the helmets, like, sli- the slightly wrong color. Oh, my God. Go fuck yourself. And I was like, and I just, it was one of those moments where I, I kind of stared at him for a second because it took a moment for, like, my brain to catch up. And I was like, it's Lego. Lego is all abstracted. And he was like, yes. Yes, it is. Hey, and so, Webb, come up onto this rock. I found a fish. Yes, good. I'm glad you got it. Um, the Did fish just... jump out of the water occasionally, so sometimes they will just land on shore and just you'll just be like, ah, yoink. Okay. Fucking great. Yes, yeah, Tinsale, there's fish now. Mm. I think you just... That, that was a perch you picked up. Yes. A perch on a perch. Um, but yeah, so that was that was interesting of I think learning just about sneak how attack that boar. I believe he did. Hmm. Gotta go for my daily mm. walk. Anyone want something from the pick and mix? Oh, if you get me some oh, cherry cola oh. bottles, that'd be lovely then. I was gonna say the strawberry milk bottles. They're good. I, I just have a. I haven't had those before. in fucking years. Yeah, actually, not that's a long time. Uh, is that a deer or some boar? That's some that's boar. Some you can tell because they don't have necks. <laughs> well, at first I thought it was a deer grazing, okay? <laughs> this is fair, this is fair. The first deer Speaking I saw, which... I did mistake for a ball. I feel cold. We'll go home in a second. Ah, uh, it's fucking gone. Fuck it, let's just get home. Okay. I like how uh, this this stream has just been me following you around whilst whilst we beat things to death. Because I don't know what That's I'm That's fine. Doing. And then occasionally you give me trousers. Well, okay, admittedly, I made my first pair of trousers. Elle's neck. You could eat another bite. <laughs> you could eat another bite. Oh, watch the first couple of episodes of uh, Season 2 of The Bad Batch. Oh, nice. Yes, I'm going to wait for Snipe uh, for that. <laughs> you know, you got to wait a while because I know you kind of got to watch through uh, Clone Wars. I know. And, and... I'm, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag Snipe through it, kicking yeah. and screaming. Uh, okay. Slap. 
Okay, what about combiners? Like, is Bruticus a separate entity from the... There are merged consciousness. Yeah. That's generally how it's taken. Uh, there are some times where there where it's almost treated as if um, their merged consciousness is like a distinct entity. So like Bruticus is a distinct personality mm. um, from the individual Combaticons. Uh, but sometimes it is like all five of them working together. How combiners are handled depends a lot on what continuity is dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> Like, um, they're very much, like, separate, separate, like, um, like the, um, R.I.D. 2015, um, series is very much, um, oh, wow, I should empty my pockets a bit, I've got so much shit in there. So do I, I'm just gonna go and find, like, the last couple of deer that I need. Okay. For, well, for the moment, I still need to hunt a bunch more, but I can do that mm. off stream. But um, but yeah, like in in RID twenty fifteen, uh, the combiners in that are sort of like they are individuals working together. They just all control like one one it controls one limb, you know, like mm. that. Although, um, oh god, if I'm thinking about the IDW thing, they are a collective consciousness, but they also have to kind of be in sync with each other. Hmm. Um, it, it vary, yeah. It varies a bit depending on how yeah. each thing does it. Uh, I've got a lot of shit in my pockets. Um... Uh, where is the best place to put things like, say, money? Dead. Money? Uh, just stick it in any empty chest you want. Okay. I'll put it, it next to my bed. And just... Maybe. Yeah. There you go. I guess the reverse tooth fairy will come and give me. Teeth. Yeah, it'll give you teeth. Ah. Yeah, they didn't think that one through when they invented the uh, the coin fairy. Yeah, the <laughs> it's the first, it's it's the V one of the tooth fairy, and they were like, you know, oh, okay, maybe this doesn't work. Mm. Comes from a time when. Uh... Oh, is, is that actually since there were three people in chat were talking about uh, combiners, is this the point where we talk about how fucking um, Prowl becomes ahead of Devastator in IDW, <laughs> and, and then... how fucked it is. And they're like, no, no, we like it when you're our head because you're a weird fascist too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm only half joking. You're not joking at all. <laughs> well, they don't say because you're a weird fascist. Okay, they're more, fair. They're more you're like they. They're more like they saw him from across the across the Gestalt organism and said, "Hey, we really like your vibe." Yep. Because you're a fascist. Kinda. God, I wish there was just a couple of scenes where Optimus just beats the shit out of Pro. Oh, this is sorry. why Barricade is the superior cop Transformer. Because he's already because you're not supposed to think he's a good guy. Yeah. Strong arm, also because um, I, I I I know a cab, but also she's trying her best. Okay. I don't mind a cop who's more like a law a law person that's trying their best. Yeah. Infection. Infection. <laughs> Nothing happened, didn't they? Oh, we're just shooting the shit. Yeah. Talking some bollocks. As is our want. Uh, I imagine the first few times they um, tried doing things after discovering combining, they must look like someone playing Quop for the first time. Yes. Um, oh wait, that was covered in some. That it? has been covered multiple times. The two ones that come to mind is indeed RAD twenty fifteen, and also in um, Cyberverse when uh, the Dinobots make Volcanicus for the first time. Oh yeah. Did the Dinobots really need a combiner form? No! I can't... I, they're already part, cool as shit. Part of me does kind of want to get the core class Dinobots for the, the core it, class combiner. Did it become combiner. a little baby Volcanicus? That does seem fun. Also, uh, I've not I've seen, seen a single one in shops. On, I've, I've seen some pictures on Twitter of like some of the parts that are out now. Or mm. some of the bots like in their combiner mode and they look great. 
the chest plate looks really good. Mm. Alternatively, yes, a car and bicycles. Oh, thank you, Theo. <laughs> I am glad that at least in... I know, I think it's in the um, reboot IDW stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Which I haven't read much of. I um, read a volume or two. Because I think in there they do use uh, the Siege um, barricade design. Because it's great. <laughs> because like, oh, hey, do you want a uh, Prowl? But he's purple. And I'm like, and, yes. And a Datsun yes, mold. Or, yes. or a Cybertronian Datsun mold. Which I talked about Just... on... Um, was it the last stream, actually? Of being my favourite Transformer. Like... Just in general, is Siege. Um, Siege oh yeah, no, it was Barricade. your favorite of the year. But it is also just my favorite that I picked up last year. Like I, of all the ones I've picked up, like uh, it's at one end it's Ultimate Expanse, and at the other end it's. Uh, it's I mean, Barricade. Ultimate Expanse just sucks. Is the is the worst thing. <laughs> just the worst thing. Yeah. Like, it says a lot that I've got Earthrise RC, and I'm like, no, no, th this is the worst Transformer. Earthrise RC still fucking transforms. <laughs> I mean, falling that's, apart. that's being generous, but it is not falling apart, so therefore it is up on... Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up on uh, that. Uh, Where the fuck are you? Okay, you're over there. Okay. What, 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 are, we supposed, uh, what are we supposed to be doing? Because I am just roaming around murdering things. I mean, that's good. It's giving us materials. Okay. Uh, at this point, uh, we uh, could... If I remember where, how to make a shield. Okay. Um, oh, I'm going to need to go and actually get some more wood. Okay. Um, I, can, I can chop wood because I'm out here now. I mean, yeah, sure. If you want to get some... Uh, we, we just need some planks for shit, honestly. Sure. No, God. Fucking ball uh, getting up in my shit just because I'm, I'm chopping yeah. wood. <laughs> mm. um, we're getting to the point where we've started to finish off what we really need to do in the meadow. Mm. Um, however, we might want to upgrade our gear a bit before we decide to go and take on the fucking. Oh, 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 Good, good, good. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see you. Oh, please, Greyling. Let us... Let us not start shit, for I have an axe. Actually, it uh, reminds me, because I, uh, I, I put up a... Uh... People didn't know, see. I put up a new Transformers review. Uh, was it yesterday? Yes. Yeah, it was yesterday on uh, on Six Shot. Six Shot. Um, Titans Return. Six Shot. Yes. Uh, who is yeah. a Transformer with five different alt modes? Six. Well, okay. He he has officially five different alt modes. I thought um, it was six different alt modes and then unofficially seven. He he had well because he's he, a member of the Six Clan. Yeah, but his robot mode is one of his modes. Ah, uh, you fuck off. Um, he he in fiction has has seven modes because he has his extra one yep. yes mm -hmm. um, and you can make lots of extra ones in it because mm -hmm. he barely does anything anyway. um, but um, but yeah it made me realize something like I, I realized that I've made 21 episodes so far holy shit of, Good job. Uh, of my transformers review stuff um, and I was like wow I basically never make videos where it's like a bloke who just turns into a car. Yeah, I know. That's... Yeah. Like, like that, that ain't happening for a bit. The only, the only... The only one that I've done is like... Tailgate. <laughs> yeah. And at that, you had to do something dumb with it. I'm carrying too much. Oh, yeah. Arsehole. I mean, sorry? Uh, dump the planks that you... Uh, oh boy, that almost killed me. Uh, dump whatever planks uh, till you can move again. I, I just gave them to you. Okay, cool. That's fine.
If there's a deer that comes comes past you with a huge axe wound in it, don't worry about it. Um, mm, that's very personal. <laughs> mm. It's also sopping wet if it's the one it looked. Oh, one I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's aware of my presence. Okay, I need a resin. I've got some there. Good. Okay. See, I. That didn't hit anything, but it did help me get my eye in for, like, how to fire over That's extreme the main thing. distances. Okay, I'll, br I'll bring this wood back. Um, looking for Transformers with a green, grey, turquoise, purple colour scheme. Brainstorm, like Moon Moonracer. Uh, any suggestions? Yeah, um, obviously, <laughs> so, you, your obvious one's Cyclone of Skywarp for, like, purple ones. Scourge? Um, the sweeps are... Oh, wait, are Scourge blue and the sweeps are purple? I never remember. They're all blue. Uh, that's the math thing in the animations. Oh, I don't remember. Rain do a fucky. <laughs> that is fine. Here. Oh. Thank you. That is a level 2 shield. Oh, shit. Okay, thank you. Why did he upgrade the club? Oh, bone fragments. Okay. I have I don't have many of those. A do bunch that. of wood in there. We'll go and gather the rest okay. of that those logs that are waiting. Although I should then, quickly upgrade or um, repair my uh, axe. Repair your stuff and also uh, upgrade your axe. That was a good call. Um, upgrade it. Yeah, I know the shield doesn't have a snazzy pattern on it. I couldn't be arsed. Um, yeah, there's uh, there's slipstream always forget uh, as works. well. Um, slipstream's cool, and she does actually have turquoise and purple. Yes. Um, good call. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of good uh, good purple ones. Uh, terrible or horrible? He's purple, I believe. Yep, lots purple. Uh, Blot's purple, um, Mind Wipe, also purple. Yes, yes. Uh, cup is turquoise. Yeah. Or like turquoise and like cyan. Mm. Depending on who's making it. Obviously, for there's a million different Megatrons for Grey. Yep. There is a purple Megatron, sometimes known as um, Arch Force. I don't remember that one. Is it Arch Force? What was he fucking called? Is the European release of it that didn't have Megatron rules written on his chest? Oh, oh, wait, no, that the Megatron rules one was purple, wasn't it? Yes, that was the purple one, but when it was released over here, oh. it wasn't as Megatron. Uh, oh, oh, oh mm, okay. Did not realize that's that's a, that's a whole thing. This is Euro European Transformers was a whole thing. The G one point five. Welcome home. I br I bring you more wood. Good, 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 good. What, what else do you okay. need that I can gather? Uh, how, do work, how do you work a shield? Uh, equip it. Oh, is it just a thing you just have once you've got it? Yep. And if you hit the block button at the right point, you parry. Oh, nice. I would go and go and test out some Graylings. It puts them into that, you know, that staggered state they go into after you hit them a couple of times? Okay. They go into that. It's great. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I was, I'm just going to go parry a deer. Uh, you can parry a boar. I think it's tricky. Hey, Web, so you remember that joke you made that with the time when we built the outhouse here and then you went in and dropped a bunch of sausages in there? Yep. Yeah, I just found them. Yep. <laughs> They're still there. Good, good. Um, not until later, <laughs> that was the one I was looking mm. for. Ah, okay. I, I, sorry, I thought oh, you were asking uh, just in general for for them as opposed oh, to Oh, sorry, one. sorry. Didn't realize. My, <laughs> <Yeah>. my bad. <laughs> You were just screaming random transformers mm. at you. Speaking of nautical themes, uh, Big Bad Toy Store has a listing for uh, 
the Combiner Wars. Oh God. Uh, the, 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 uh, God Neptune. Oh, okay. The, they're was, they're was re-releasing that, it again. Oh, okay, interesting. So you said nautical thing, and then for a second there, I was like living in hope that one day I could own a nautica. Um, never, we're not allowed to no, nautica. We're we're never, we're like, just not. It's, it's only in one stupid set. Oh, good. The parrying's not like super difficult. Okay, cool. No. Like the fact that I did it first time, which I think might be the f the the first time in any video game ever I've pulled off a parry the first time I tried one. If you carry too much luggage, you become encumbered. Encumbered, yes. Thank you, Crow. Well, right. But does God Neptune have another name? Uh, yes. Um, that is because um, it is a repaint of um, the Seacon's combined form. I thought it was something dumb like that, yeah. Uh, which I forget the name of offhand. That is fine. I can look it up. As long as I wasn't going insane. Come here, TF Worky. Is it King Poseidon? Yes, that's the one. All right, cool. D d d yeah, King Poseidon or God Neptune. Like, okay, great. And so the chat knows what I'm talking about. Here is the figure. It is expensive. Uh, God awesome Neptune, place. if I remember correctly, uh, is also made up that that like version of the Seacons are also mm -hmm. um, like space pirates. I think so. Uh, yeah, which is rad. I know I'm a fan of that. And um, it's the one with the lady version of the squid. That I can't remember the name of. Yes. Ah, uh, Scylla. That was it. Yes. Uh, I'm going to quickly go and get myself a drink. No problem. Once you get back, I'm going to have a smoke, and then we can go and do the thing. Okay. Hello, chat. Oh, dropped items don't despawn in control zones. Thank you, Rossbot. I did not realize that. That is super handy to hear. And while Wib's away, I'm going to cook some fucking food. If I can remember where I put all my food. Cooking food. Yep. And the big dumb house that I built. Which is actually working out better than I thought it would. I'm glad. I mean, the seagulls still clip through the roof sometimes, but... Eh, it's fine. I think everyone's had a problem at some point in their life where a seagull has clipped through uh, their walls or something like that. Right? Oh, Prime B, if you're still around, um, I need to send you a picture of some. Oh yeah, actual seagull collisions are no fucking joke, Agamemnon. I've, I've heard how fucking... Oh wait, was that a pigeon? I can't remember now. We've had a, like a, one of the, you know... Must have been a pigeon, in fact. Um, hit our fucking like, living room window full pelt before. Um, the fact it was just kind of stunned speaks volumes to me. <laughs> no clip, aimbot bastard swiping. And, and the Mrs. Churro ones. Oh, the bastards! There we go. I return. Well, I'll come back. I just took a little longer because I, I decided to go for a big piss. Ah, yes, the big piss. Yes. Not a tiny one, no. No, the biggest I piss. I adore how shit the fish look. When they jump it's... out of the ocean with oh, zero yeah, they animation. Look, they look terrible, it's great. It's great. Look at him um, go. Okay. 
I'm going to go have a cigarette. Uh, okay. Entertain chat. Um, we were talking about how seagulls clip through the roof of this house, and like that's just a problem everyone deals with at some point in their lives, you know. Yeah, it's so fucking annoying. Like I'm, I'm just fucking minding my own business, and then a fucking seagull oh, comes oh, in and, pun and pegs me in the side of the fucking head. Pegs, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I'll be right back. Very kinky seagulls around here. Cinema. <laughs> ah. Yeah, hope you're all doing okay in chat. We're all enjoying whatever the fuck this stream is. I hope it brings you joy. I will use this time to uh, just gather some resources. Seagulls broke into my lunchbox once when I left it outside lunchtime of school. Indeed, bastards! When the juniper trees at the university in autumn, the berries will start fermenting in the branch, attracting a lot of pigeons. Got drunk off their tits on the berries and regularly flew full pelt into our kitchen window. Fucking hell. Yeah, no, a bird hitting a window is. it shits you up because it's so loud and sudden. I, I have, I, I I remember being, it happened like when I was at school once, like we were just sitting there in class and then just suddenly a bird just went full pelt into the fucking window. It was just like, uh, hello. <laughs> Trying to figure out Longfang's system here. I'm going to put bones in here too. I don't know if that feels right. It's nature stuff. I'll put those in there. There we go. Yeah, you think you're under attack when, when the birds are coming at you. Um, that is because on a very fundamental level you are, I suppose. <laughs> Beat something to death. Fucking learning to parry graylings. Not unlike that one movie where they threw all the birds at the actors. Oh yeah, Casablanca. I'm joking. I, I know. I, I know that it was not Casablanca where they threw the birds at people. It was north by northwest. Uh, drunk pigeons are even dumber than regular pigeons. That's saying something. Uh, Rig saw them jump, uh, jump off a branch without extending their wings, only for the penny to drop and start frantically flapping. <laughs> Sorry, I've just got this image of a bird just, like, stepping off a branch and then just slamming face-first into the ground and being like, oh, shit. Oh, oh, the weather has got very angry with me. You have crafted a shield. Well, technically long it, but, you know, we, we, semantics. Right, damage you can block before becoming static depends on maximum. Okay. If you plan on taking a lot of damage, you should eat food that increases your health. Okay, that makes sense. Didn't mean to hit the bird, but it's fine. It's it's a, a like. like 
ghost bird. It's fine. I want to go inside where it's warm. It seems horrible out here. Sit by the fire. And cook some meat. It is good advice for everyday life. You should always eat up if you're expecting significant damage. That is true. That is true. Especially emotional damage. You could eat another bite. <laughs> yeah. Guess I could. I build anything new. I can do like okay, so I just need like stuff to build like this different tower shields. Leather helmets are in play now. Okay. Quite six deer hide. Deer hide cape. Oh, that's cool. I like I like I like the idea of a deer hide cape. That sounds fun. Okay. Well, Hello. Hello. Do me a favour. What? Go back to the crafting station for a second. Yes. Uh, do you notice in the top corner of the workbench bit of the UI there's a star with a 1 in it? Yes. That is because this is a level 1 workbench. Yes. Uh, please ignore the wave that just came through our house. It's fine. I, I, um, I, I, I just assumed one of us just took a mighty fine piss. Yeah, that's what it was. Um... Uh, if you go into your hammer menu. I don't have a hammer, actually. Oh, you should make one. Yes, I should. I have no wood or stone on me because I put it all away. It's in the shed. Yep. I can show you how you'd animate, it's fine. Wood. Uh, okay. Okay. If you go into your crafting menu, you'll notice that in the uh, crafting tab. Excuse me, whilst I, I I replace a fish on my uh, hot bar. <laughs> Have we not? Could you not just cook that? What the fuck? I thought we would have cooked that by now. No, it didn't. It didn't go on the thing. Okay, okay. I have the thing. Yeah. You have the menu up. Uh, build menu mouse too. Okay. Uh, you will see the uh, in the crafting section there is the workbench, and beside that there is a chopping block. Yes. And a tanning rack. Yes. Is that what? Those we're are working? upgrades. Okay. For the workbench to level up. So even if you don't have the cereals for it. If you like pull out the tannin rack uh, to place it, you'll see it has a little like magic line that goes to the workbench, and that's the oh, area okay. you need to place it within. Okay. So yeah, uh, we should work towards that at some point, but it's we're okay then now. But I'm happy to have that to, like to work. So that seems like that would be the, getting those two things are 100% achievable. Yeah, uh, we've already got a chopping block. Mm. It's outside the shed. Yes, I just I just noticed it. <laughs> um. So we've got 15 flint, 20 leather scraps, 5 deer hide. Uh, where's a... Eight, uh, okay. I don't need to... Oh no, we've got plenty of flint, actually. Yeah, I've been picking it up whenever I see it, so I put... Good. We've got enough flint, we just need the hides, basically. That's a shite day for hunting. Hmm. Oh, fish might need a specific cooking station we don't have yet. Oh yeah, make sure you've got food in you. I am full of food. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, if you open up your inventory UI, 
Yes. Uh, you see how some items have a fork, like a red fork? Yes. Uh, that is because they give you more health. Okay. Um, and then yellow items give you more stamina. stamina. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That wasn't a thing when I originally played this game, so I always forget it exists. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, what are we going for? Um, boars and deer? Yep. Okay. Okay. Although I'm wondering if any are even going to be out in this weather. I mean, if I it's don't sensible, know if weather affects it, but who knows? Well, you know, you want to go and find it, see if you can find a, a wet pig. <laughs> they did say yep. if it, you know if it's a strong um, like uh, wet season, then you get monster hogs. That is true, and this is quite a wet season we're having right now. And and Monster Quest wouldn't lie to me. That's why they made a whole episode on rods. Um, <laughs> Flying rods, the most not doesn't exist thing that doesn't exist. <laughs> Catch you later on, Hobby. Ah, here we go. Yeah, the, the thing that is the most does not exist of them all. Yeah, like, shockingly so. You have crafted a hammer. Yes, I have. Yeah, you must have just crafted a club and nothing else earlier. I crafted that and an axe and, and a spear. But I never crashed. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, there is a deer. There is a deer. Kind of... Oh, that's going to be a shot. Nice! <laughs> I've got my eye. Oh, there's another fucking one there. Oh, I, I saw it too. Ah, no, that's, that's, that one's gone. I got, I got a couple of hide, though. Nice. How many do we good, need? Good, good. Uh, five, I think it was. But we also need the weather scraps from Boar. Ah, okay. I'm which we need, need a to, lot more of. I'm going to need to make some more um, uh, arrows. I've only got uh, five Oh, left. shit, that's a point. I've got like 20. I, I still have 23, actually. Uh, Better pick up some loose branches then. Oh, no, this is the bad bit. This is the bad bit. <laughs> no, thank you. A lot of weather happening right now. Yeah, there fucking is. Someone is really desperately unhappy with us. I mean... Oh, in... I should mention, um, sometimes you might just see a shadowy figure at the corner of your eye in the distance. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, that's normal. That's normal. Uh, it is no normal uh, where? If we can. Oh, thank you for the sub there, Dark Angels Fallen, and hello. Hey, 32 months. Dead. Nice. Now you got it. Yeah, got, got my eye in a bit with it. <laughs> yep. More deer hide. So I've got three on me. Okay. How many was it we needed? I forget. I think it was five. Okay. I mean, I think... Oh, I see another you... deer. Okay. Yeah, five deer hide. It's the 20 weather scraps that are going to take a while. Or take a bit longer. Yes. Okay, I I got him whilst I was also being slapped in the bollocks by a grey. You feel like <laughs> you feel like a fucking badass when that happens. Still got my shot, you little bastard. Yeah. Okay, four. I have four. Excellent. It's a shame our visibility is absolutely fucked. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Hence, hence why I had to deal oh. with some guy coming up and slapping my bollocks. Yeah, yeah, just the, the ball slappers are a real problem. Yeah. Excellent. That'll be... The last of the leather we need. Okay, so now we just need to... Hold, uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, like, threw it out in the ground so you could take it because you've got the rest of it anyway. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's five in total, so yeah. There we go. Okay, just bore. Uh, once there's flying rods or something that was very uh, popular, everyone down at Kimber Sandwich is still very popular. Um... Is Danikin involved with rods? Mm. 
My everything I read about, or is it a, is it a Damsky you're thinking about rather than Danikin? Everything I read about flying no, rods. No, ex Cal, that was uh, George Adamski. Um, the flying saucer guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the flying saucer guys. Yeah, every, everything I've read about rods um, indicate like basically pins the origin point of it as being um, the the mid nineties is when that took over took off um i mean that because... was when Dan... well no wait no wait when did charge of the gods come out never mind uh, it's like the 60s um okay yeah uh because um the the artifact that particularly causes rods in like uh like the flying rod phenomena to occur is caused by video interlacing that happens with digital video oh um So I, I obviously there's rod shaped UFOs that have been seen forever. Yeah. But uh, but yeah. Um. Or, or if you have a a source on it being like old than that, please I want to know. Like um. Because uh because I I I've got, I, I have a low key thing of making a video about rods. Um. So I would I would love to, to be see like, this is fucking dumb. Yeah. If it's got if it predates that, then I would love to. I would legitimately love to see that because yeah. Um. Danikin wasn't directly involved, but he did rapidly tie his grift into it. That I can see. Yeah. Is this... Because if this is... Because um, I've not seen him talk about rods, um, but he has written a lot of books, and I have only read one of them. So... Because, I mean, how many of those fucking books can you stomach? Uh, that's an excellent point. Oh, I did have more arrows than I thought. Oh. I had, like, 23, because it was two stacks, and that was throwing me off. Oh. Is it two different types? Because I might have given you, Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna give you flint arrows earlier. Oh yeah, I've got. Yeah. Oh okay, I didn't realize. Yeah, there's wooden flint. Okay, okay. The flint ones are the good, yeah, the, okay. the better ones. Hmm. I struggle to say they're the good ones. <laughs> they are acceptable at this point in the game. Yes. At least the weather's calmed down a bit. Uh, so yeah, I'll, yeah. Go, I'll, I'll go out looking in a different direction for hogs. Sure. Um, oh yeah, Von Danigan didn't have much in the way of original ideas anyway, that's for sure. I mean, he did steal... Like, he stole shit from Lovecraft. Like, that's how, that's yeah. how fucking devoid of shit he was. That does not surprise me. Head in the slightest. Like, ha having read... Uh, admittedly, I never did get around to finishing it, but like, having read most of Chariot of the Gods, um, he's a fucking hack. I mean, he's a hack. You could tell that anyway. That's not like... Mm. Like, it doesn't require you to have read anything by him to know he's a hack. You just have to know what he says. Um, but, um, but yeah. He is most definitely a fucking hack. Mm. Uh, and I, I can say that with the... Uh, Author, you know, the confidence of someone who has watched way too much Ancient Aliens. Like, <clears throat> I watched that show for fun, and God fucking damn it. still kind of love to visit his museum. I'm pretty sure it's shut down. But oh, yeah, it's shut down now. Oh, thank you for the sub there, RNG. 57 months. Heck you. Butts indeed, RNG. Butts indeed. Butts indeed. Uh, butts in chat. Butts in chat. <clears throat> Never say that again. <laughs> You know, I keep looking at the little set, like the, the where our uh, initial little hut was, hmm. uh, and the queering here, and I'm like, man, it does give me that itch to like just rent a server so folks from chat can build a little village here. <laughs> Unfortunately, it fucks up the game for everyone else. Uh, what happens is. Um, some people will like fucking storm through all the bosses, which means people at like the lowest level suddenly get like flying ah, dragons attacking them. Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> and then it's like uh, that's that's not great. I found a hut, Ooh. which has Is there some... anything in the hut. Flint in it. Oh, and watch. A... Uh, watch out for bees nests when you're in the huts. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I like how you just sometimes you inform me of new horrors I have to be concerned about. 
Yeah, I, again, I haven't encountered them today, so I just didn't think about it until now. Butt posture. A butt posture check. Clench and unclench. Yeah, you'll hear buzzing if there's a nest. Yeah, But um, if you break the nest, you get a queen bee out of it, and then you can make an apiary. Oh, okay. That's cool. Which supplies you with honey. And it's quite good. Man, we just had a day full of rain and then the sunset. What the fuck? Okay, I guess I'll have I mean, I live in Scotland as it is. For yeah. fuck's sake. Ancient Aliens was the start of History Channel's decline. It it started from... The, the decline started from the very beginning, is my understanding. Uh, Ancient Aliens is just the most obvious... Um, yeah. And upsettingly popular, um, like, focal mm -hmm. point of it. Mm -hmm. Because it turns out uh, education and capitalism do not mix well. Yeah. Uh, because when you're trying to educate people, uh, the truth is never as interesting as as whatever fiction you can come up with. And fiction is uh, more profitable. Yes. So uh, whatever is more profitable is what gets made. Oh, the curse of Oak Island. That place must be a fucking honeycomb by now. Oak Island's the place that, like, their shore has, like, shit buried on it, and there's nothing there, right? Including, like, a secret fucking hypertube that the Knights Templar used. You know, history... History is, like, full of weird, stupid shit that's great fun to learn about, and... and but people need to make it up to make, make like, up stories instead. Whatever weird shit you make up is... I can guarantee you there is a more inter there is more interesting history behind the thing that you are talking about that is real. Yeah. Okay, Owens has been a thing for a long yeah. time in Mexico. Um, oh, there's also the, uh, the tunnels underneath San Francisco that the reptilians lived in? Or was it Los Angeles? I can't remember now. <laughs> Have you ever watched Hunting Hitler? Uh, that's fun. <laughs> uh, I, I watched quite a review's video on yeah. it. It was fucking hilarious. Uh, I've watched the first um, couple of seasons. These guys are just interrogating an old man. Fuck yeah. off. Oh, yeah. It's fucked up. Um, was it like one of the guys involved in it? Like, he was part of the fucking Nixium shit, if I remember correctly. Oh, God, was he? Oh, Jesus. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Hunting Hitler's very funny because, uh, it, it's like, like a, like Ancient Aliens, you answer, um, most of the, um, oh, that's impressive. Um, you can answer most of the questions they start with, like, did Hitler do this with, uh, no. Yeah. It, it, there is no if ands, or buts, it's just, is this? No. No. It is not. Is this for the Nazi bell was built? No. 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 Because that's not real. Because the person yeah. that originally came up with the Nazi bell and said that he saw it is a liar. Hmm. Like, it's that thing that, um, that they, it's just not, it's, it's just like, you know, sometimes people, um, sometimes people lie. This is true. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, uh, we see things that aren't real. I've seen mm -hmm. things that aren't real, uh, and I can accept that they are not real. Um, like when incredibly sleep deprived, for example, um, and the visual and auditory hallucinations start. Mm. Yeah, hunting Hitler, a new hit show will be clone Hitler and and kill him over and over oh, again. Okay, now, that that that. Mm, mm, mm. Now that's only if it's like a sci-fi clone where it's a duplicate of the actual person. You know, like yes. memories and all. Leather. How, how much meat to the shed? How many leather scraps do we need? Uh, a lot. Come with me to Is the shed. Is it like 20 or something? Uh, go check in the shed for the leather we have. Because there is some. Third one on the right? Ah, yes. Eight. We do not have enough. So that's nine complete deer hide and 13 things. So is it like 20, I think, for the... I think it's 20. Right, let me... I'll, I'll check. 
15 flint, uh, 20 yeah, weather it's scraps. <sighs> okay. okay, the Megalodon and Mermaid documentaries were mockumentaries and thus great. The problem with those is, is that and the, people they did a drag them. Or someone did a dragon one as well. Yeah, I, I remember that because um, a uh, a person who I went to college with um, saw that and thought it was real. And thought it was real. And I had to explain to them that no dragons did not exist. Mm. Um, which is not something I'll be honest that I thought I was going to have to do that day. Mm. I just picked up a fish. Good. It was just there, you know? Yeah. Sometimes, Sometimes fish... they just end up flopping up onto shore and you're like, well, you're mine now. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel like one of the problems with, like, mockumentaries is that unless you're very clear about them... Um, they can get fucking. It, it's... It... <laughs> Like, unfortunately, a, a lot of people, and I, I don't say this is like a ooh idiots, um, because I don't, I don't think that. No, uh, people are just easily fooled by what looks like reputable programming. Some people do not have the media literacy because it's not something mm. that we are taught to have. Um, to know when someone is 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 um doing something for a bit. For a, a jape and a joke. Um, and then you have things like when people got very mad at Pedo Geddon when it came out. Um, I, oh, wait, yeah, Brass Eye, right? Yes, yes. Um, Took me a minute and then I remembered. I remember when that fucking came out and the fucking uh, story around that. Like, oh, it's like it's like making fun of of abused children. It's like, no, it's making fun of you, the media. Yeah, that's what it's. That's what the mocking is. That that that's what yeah. that's happening at. Um, was yeah, that person... where nonsense came from, or yes. was that from the yes. cake stuff? That is from Brass. <laughs> that is from the the Pedo Geddon episode. Yes, I, I couldn't remember if that was yeah. Pedo Geddon or Cake. Cake also. also... Brass Eye was good. <laughs> <laughs> the heavy electricity fell out of the cables and crushed this car. <laughs> oh man. Man, fucking, fucking Brass Eye. Um, Brass Eye got away with so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I, I have, like, all the flint we need, by the way. Oh, yeah, I've been grabbing flint as well, just in case, because it'll come in handy later anyway. Yeah. Um, I have found myself another clearing with a house, or a house of some sort. Um, but, yeah, um... I, I personally, like, over mockumentaries, I, I kind of prefer um, just documentaries uh, made by um, grifters. Because um, at least they're honest. Um, because I, I Well, find, no, they're not honest, but you know what they're about. I find something very um, satisfying about um, picking apart um things like that because it's really interesting to um to notice what people are saying and what they're not saying and i think that can that can help with your own media literacy because you are basically taking something that you know definitely isn't true because it's about fucking i don't know fucking like all all ancient egyptians were aliens whatever um and so something that is objective. No brown people could build something yeah. that's good. Uh, watching something like Ancient Aliens, although to be honest, Ancient Aliens is a bit too bit too mainstream for my taste. I prefer the oh uh, yeah. I prefer the homegrown we, weird UFO the, shit. The, the shit on fucking Amazon. Mm. Um, we watched it. Brings up the fucking Anunnaki three seconds and oh yeah, you know you're in for a good time when the Anunnaki ever all. Or, or the fact that many different civilizations use snakes in their iconography. It's like, yeah, because snakes are fucking cool, you idiot. Snakes are rad as shit. Sometimes, you go, sometimes people just draw snakes because snakes are cool. 
Yeah. Um, and they're weird looking. Yeah. <laughs> um, I suppose actually an extra point I should bring up about like mockumentaries and stuff. One of the other things is that um, it should be noted that there are some people who just due to the right, just people who are uh, neuro neurodivergent can have real trouble seeing like that kind of satire. So, Wait, the Goblin documentary on Amazon? I'm sorry, there's a Goblin documentary on Amazon? Goblin documentary on Amazon. Oh. Web. Web. The Goblin documentary. Uh, why don't I know about this? I want to I watch the Goblin... Uh, stop it, we're stopping the stream. We're watching the Goblin documentary. <laughs> we're turning this into an Amazon Prime watch party. Don't talk about the fucking Vril Society fucking launch <laughs> Um I don't know that one, and it worries me that that was your response. Um, It's uh, like... Weird esoteric shit uh, that uh, esoteric Nazism has got a lot of. Um, oh, it's in its heritage. It's not necessarily like the same thing, it's, but it's, it's in its heritage. Um, that kind of weird shit. I, I I think I've spoken to you about it before. And you've watched a longer video uh, with me uh, from uh, Mini Minute Man. Oh, of the um, the the, the like um, super like people who think that they were super soldiers. Uh, yes, uh, no, that was that him. Wait. Oh shit, no, no, that was the other guy. Um, yeah, no, um, the mud slide thing. Man is the yes stuff yeah. like that. Um, he did a video responding to a lot of the clickbaity uh, short uh, YouTube videos, the YouTube shorts mm. that are like, here's ten things that this, you know the crazy things found in history and one of them sourced the Anna uh, Nerba as a think tank oh yeah you see this is this is what I like to do when I'm watching UFO documentaries is whenever they say whenever they bring up oh, and like... also it, it, I, sh I should mention that it came up in relation to uh the anna nerva finding some skulls that looked like demon heads and it turned out they were just skulls the wrong way up <laughs> yeah 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 um what like one of the <coughs> one of the oddly satisfying things and again i think it's it's like quite useful for your own like media literacy is um is when you Ooh, nice. oh oh mm. Hellier is a digital documentary series directed by Carl Pfeiffer uh, under the banner of Planet Weird that aims to explore a string of synchronicities that take place in Hellier, Kentucky. Uh, the first season, which consisted of five episodes, was released for free in 2019 on YouTube. Okay. And the second season, which consisted of ten episodes, was uh, released first in Amazon Prime Video and later on YouTube. Good. There we go. That's 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 our midnight date. children. So. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Noise signal. Your green man. Mm. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, but yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, um, I find it, it's very, very. It can be very useful to like when you're watching through like a thing and they bring up like, oh, this this think tank or whatever. This per or whenever they Look mention into the think tank. Yeah. Whenever they mention a person, because then you'll find out it's that. Fucking asshole who bought the uh, the Skinwalker Ranch, and you go, well, I know everything about this is bullshit. Then, <laughs> oh, but Skinwalker also, Ranch. We found all these mutilated carcasses here. It's weird. It's like, yeah, it is it? Yeah. Is it weird? Is it actually weird? Why have you got a bloody axe behind your back? Uh, <laughs> oh, we've seen what? we've seen portals open up. Have you now? Hmm. That's a, <laughs> that's an interesting thing that isn't true. <laughs> Oh, my pockets are full of bullshit. I shall head back. I am also just kind of on my way back. I'm just taking a route that takes me towards the coast first and occupying out for more monster hogs. Yeah, I've actually walked quite a way, actually. Yeah, you. I, I noticed on the map, it's like, you went fucking miles. I couldn't find any boar, so... Yeah, you just kept going. I, I mm. get it. It's like anti-vax because it's always Hugh Funderburg. Yes, yes. That's not the doctor, for the British doctor, is it? No, that's... No, um, what the fuck was his name again? Andrew Wakefield. Yeah, that fucking uh, psychopath. Notably, no longer a doctor. Uh, yeah. They took his license away because he was a hack and a fraud. Uh, mm. Hugh Fudenberg was the guy who is uh, who um, made uh, a, an anti... A, a, 
quote-unquote cure for autism out of his own bone marrow. Oh, that guy! Yeah. Oh, I forgot about him. He is. Uh, he has. I can't remember who it was that I saw that interviewed him and he mentions the bone marrow thing. And he, he, he's an old man that looks like fucking god. Uh, fucking. Um, uh, it wasn't Louis Theroux, was it? No, it was. Um, oh fuck! It was. Um, what's his name? Because he's the guy that like did all the um, Wakefield stuff. It's it's in H bombs. Oh video, which fuck! Is yeah, 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 yeah. I know the guy you're talking about. Because mm. the... in my head, I want to say John Deere, but that's a tractor. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, H bomber guy. He just put the video together, or he just put that his video together and yeah. talked about it. I just can't remember because he talks about that specific journalist and the fucking good yeah. work he did. Oh, uh, Titan, armored, armored skeptics. Uh, yeah. Oh, mm. a cunt. <laughs> yeah. I was um, trying to stay kind of neutral there and tactful, but no, okay, fine. He's a prick. He's a, he's a he's a he's just a weird reactionary. Yeah, I know. I know of the of the. Group, I, I love of just the... takes on Bill Nye the science guy because uh, when Bill Nye's show came back, he was just like, "Oh no, Bill Nye saying something different than what I believes. That must mean that Bill Nye." Brian Deer, that's his name. Thank, Thank you, you, Lynn. Thank, Thank you, Lynn. Oh, now I feel better. Yeah. Yeah, no, like, yeah, of, of the grand scheme of the anti-SJW group, like, uh, Armored Skeptic wasn't the worst one, but that's like no. saying you're you're the um, the least stinky in the Stank like, pile. septic tank wet t-shirt competition, you know. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Web, good work. Yeah, I have no time for those people um, whatsoever. Um Oh, they're better now. No, they're not. Very few, very few of them have made any attempt to actually get better. Uh, they've just realised that uh, being outwardly reactionary is not good for money. Because Unless you're the fucking quartering, apparently. Like, they 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 realise that things uh, the, the the things start the, the wind start to blow a different way. Are you a hack if you believe your own bullshit? See, that's where it, that's where it gets interesting. That's that's the thing I I always find really interesting with like UFO documentaries and stuff is that there are so many different types of people in those. There are those people who earnestly believe it, and you can see that um, the alien stuff just takes over the same part the part of their their world that was um, that was religion. You know, it's a spiritual thing to them, and it, it, we you now don't... have enough leather scraps. Oh, excellent! I, I, I mean, oh, I, I have, I don't actually have many in my pocket, in all honesty, because I couldn't find many. But you know, well, I was working on fucking Hedo type. Smash! What? Oh, you smashed the. the box. I know I did. I was giving you a space with the tannin racking. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, sorry, it just took me a second to remember how to do it. Uh, do you want to demolish the box next to it as well? Because it's ah, oh, damn it. Cause it. It doesn't quite fit. I require the hide. Feed the hide into me. Did you not have deer hide on you? No, no, I put it away. Okay, ingest the hide. Okay, I need the leather scraps. I have ingested them. Excellent. And that now we, we make can upgrade stuff even more. And we can make stag breaker. Stag breaker? Scroll down to the bottom. I do not have that on my list. Oh! Interesting. Is it something what have you not What have you not had before? Hold on, hold on. I'm running back to the house. Okay. I am just going to uh, go and put some stuff back as well. Because I uh, put the, the trophies I found. 
Rotate it and look better if it's slanted. That's fine. I don't think so in there. It's fine. It's fine. Out yeah. of interest, have you had a deer hide tro uh, or, or one of the deer trophies? Yeah. Literally got four one? in my okay. pocket. <laughs> okay, that's, that's interesting then. Hmm. Kiss, marry, dis. Collecting ten boar asses, foraging ten glowing mushrooms, or slaying ten rats. Marry the ten rats, that's always going to be. Oh, like, yeah, marry a rat classic. king. Yeah, yeah. That sounds, that's, yeah, okay, sounds that like sounds good. The best idea. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. That's That sounds like a thing I want in my life. Um... Um, and then I guess I guess we're kissing. Uh, do, you, do you want to kiss a glowing mushroom? That sounds fun. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And then we'll um, not get some sort of. I, I guess I guess we it. have to dis um, collecting ten boar asses. Yep. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you, Dark Angels Fallen. I haven't heard of the Sea Peoples before. That is a new one to me. I, I have not heard of the sea people. Um, I have heard of many things that are like that, so it might be a thing that I've encountered on my, we're, my we're strange travels. We're not talking thing, I don't think. Oh, okay. Talking about an actual, well, possibly an actual historical thing. Oh, okay. Okay, something that's, that's real. I realise that The sea people around the Bronze Age collapse, apparently. Hmm. Okay, well... It's technically finishing time. Oh yeah, we have been going well, for hours. Finishing time. Yeah. Uh, but what I suggest we do mm. is eat a bunch of health boost and food. Prepare your weapons. Okay, let me just put some useful bits and pieces. If you have the deer hide available, uh, make yourself a helmet. Oh yeah. Got about the helmets. Bronze Age Collapse is super interesting, mostly as we know fuck all about it, really. Other than all these big civilizations just ended. Yeah, that's super interesting. Oh, I need to go to the other fucking uh, workbench. Do you? Sure. Yeah, that's only a level one, so. Oh, right. Okay, I'll fix that later. Skill improve, run. Oh, remind Web to turn on or up his music. Okay, that's. Okay, I have. I guess I fear it has music, I don't remember. Hey, look at you. Yeah. I will I will point I was gonna put one of those helmets on uh, Warpath, but I forgot. That's fine. Pathfinder has stats for Mossman. Mossman. Uh, let's actually hit the hay first because we need to get the dark. Yep. Might as well start it on a fresh day with like daylight because yeah, yeah, it changes could... the weather anyway. Um, yeah, seven foot uh, tall, 100 pounds. Okay, okay, dream man, got it. That's um, a lot bigger than an owl. Common, uh, <laughs> um, seven foot tall, 100 pounds, can speak common, sylvan, and has telepathy, can cause fear with his gaze, and can replicate any spell below level five once per day. I think that's too powerful for Mothman. <laughs> Considering he's just a fucking owl. <laughs> Come on, you love Mothman. I love Mothman. I the 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 only telling uh, like of Mo like talking about Mothman that I I I um I I, I kind of like that's Ooh. like from a uh, an, a witness is that one of the um, I can't remember which one, but one of the um, women who was one of the original four witnesses. Mm -hmm. Um, it, at the very end, like towards the end of her life, um, while she was mm -hmm. living in the center of um, oh, Point Pleasant. Um, hey, uh, you'll need these. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're summoning. The... Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, she said that she yeah. saw Mothman one more time, uh, where she looked across and saw him on a roof. 
and it was like in it was Ow. cold. And uh, he, Mothman wasn't like antagonistic. He was just sitting there and just like you know, just kind of sitting on a roof and just looking a little bit like he was cold. Oh, uh, fucking Braid from Kesha. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello. Hello, Kesha, and hello, Raiders. You're about to see us get our faces ripped off by a very metal deer. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's something about, like, a mothman that you just want to go outside and give a, give a scarf to. That's, that's kind of cute to me. Bring your mothman inside, it's cold. If you're cold, yeah. they're cold. if you're cold, uh, they're cold. Yeah. You're going to want to put um, the deer heads on your like ah. bug bar. Okay. Also, eat food before you do it. Oh, yes, yes. Good God, eat food. Okay, let my... Uh... I have eaten. You make the sacrifice. Okay, where's, where are all the energy balls going to? Walls going over there. Oh! Okay. Hello. He's fucking metal. <laughs> fucking hell. I feel this is just so wildly out of step with, um, like, what we've dealt with so far. Like, oh, just... it's fine. It's fine. Get my stamina back. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just watch, it does have a ranged attack. Blocked, motherfucker! Can you parry this? I don't know! I don't know if it's worth finding out. <laughs> yeah, that was my thought. <laughs> Fucking hell. Also, blocking like a huge electric attack with, um, a, with a small wooden shield. <laughs> Stamina up, stamina up. Okay. Got it. Aces. Yeah, I imagine that'd be a lot more stressful if you if it was just one of you and you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You you end up uh, carting it around. Um, yeah. Different areas a lot. Excellent. Did you get an ant earlier? Uh, yes. Good. Hard antler. A piece of very hard antler. Oh yeah, I got I got two pieces of antler. Nice. Can you fight that multiple times or do you just Yes. Like, okay. You can just go and put more deer heads there. Hey. That deer just didn't move. Oh well. Yeah, it was obviously in awe that we had just, I don't know, killed its god. I mean, I guess mm -hmm. i guess if I got, like, the existence of god proven to me and then watched two blokes in who, who like, I two hours, something else two hours ago weren't wearing, like, trousers. Um, um, you got the trophy? Yes. Oh, just yeah, its you... fucking head? Oh, yeah, you gotta put it on these things, don't you? Yeah. A monster hog. <laughs> you ability to run and jump in and through. No, I don't remember the button to hit to um, activate your ability. Ah. 
Forsaken powers, F. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I ain't bad. Yeah, it just takes such a lot less stamina. Uh, use use it in times of need. Your target dwell, your next target dwells in the Black Forest. <laughs> Oh, I didn't. Although it did. Oh, did you not actually interact with the deer? No, although it did let me, like, activate the power? I think I, you might have just seen the activation when I did it. No, I Like, you were that close to me. Hmm. Strange. Anyway. Oh, activating the power gives it to everyone nearby. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, because I was like, I, I, I was. I swear I saw the animation pop off on mm. my character. Oh, oh, there we go, then. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. We did Congratulations, the you killed a big fucking deer. Yay. And there's another reward we get from that. It's a very important one. Okay. Uh, make sure you have ten wood in your inventory. Okay. I have eight wood in my inventory. Antler pickaxe. Mm-hmm. Crack even the most stubborn rocks. Ah. Fun fact, I've actually found, like, Stone Age uh, and uh, Iron Age to... Well, Bronze Age to Iron Age mines that did use antler pickaxes. Ah, cool. Because I found the spent, like, pickaxe heads down there. Oh, rad. Welcome to the Bronze Age. <laughs> yep. Ah, good, 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 good. Excellent. Ah, uh, is there a rock? Ah, aha, ha, 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 So does mean now you can just get rid of fucking rocks if they're in the way? Yes. Be useful. I like the fact that you can take away chips of it at a time as well. Mm. Like it's not just goes all at mm -hmm. once. Just make sure you aim at the actual rock itself so you yeah. don't just dig a hole. <laughs> I have now pick skill with pickaxes seven. Fuck me, not bad. There you go. Oh my God. Oof. I, Damn I, it! Would... I I couldn't help it. I when when it went, I it was already queuing up the animation. You you were in the you were in the the pickaxe. The pick haze. That rock lost. The rock lost. Yes. That's what we call like people that are way too into rock lords. No one is way too into rock lords because people either think it's rad as shit or they don't think about it. And I think those are the only two two acceptable ways to think about rock lords. Mm. Mm. Yeah, to for, for the Black Forest is some shit, isn't it? <laughs> oh, hey. You can, you can, you can, yeah, I Black Forest rich in minerals, yeah, okay. I, I do keep meaning to pick up a, um, a brimstone a rock lord because rock lord, it's one I had as a kid and I always liked him. Okay, Whip, are you good to finish there for the I am good to finish there. Although I feel like I should just cook this food. Yeah, I... Just while we say goodbye to all the lovely people. But yeah, thank you for watching uh, this stream. Uh, yes. Where mostly I ran around and uh, slapped <laughs> um, monster hogs. Monster hogs. Um, I mean, it is what we said we were going to do. It is what we said we were going to do. It is what we said we are going to do. Boom. Okay. I'm going to tell you now, the last time I did the fight with Ike here, it was with a level 1 shield and a level 1 spear. Oh. It took way longer. <laughs> to I just imagine. prod, prod, prod. Like, if you got the shield, like, to block the damage, it's not, like, too you, bad. You, you, you doing okay there? No. I forgot how you sit down. Look at the... 
Oh yeah, yeah, what? she had to sit. Yeah, I, 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 I have some vague recollection of it being a weird thing you had to do. No, you just yeah, look yeah, at no. the lock. I was overthinking it. I was overthinking it. It's vain. I sat, I sat down, and now I'm wearing a hat. We don't look quite so identical. That's good. Good. I mean, that'll change because I'll, I'll make do some off-stream stuff to get myself a hat as well, okay. and gather more materials. I shall now quit the game. Okay. But yeah. I think that was productive. Yeah. It was chill. We got to yeah, talk about yeah. a bunch of bollocks. For that is how. Slaps Monster Hog, the name of my new black metal band. Yeah. Fair. Okay, I'm just going to say, I have no idea how many people are actually watching, because I've just noticed that um, the two counters that are on my screen, because there's oh. the one... There's the one that's yep. on the stream says uh, 43 people, but the one in Streamlabs that says 30 people. Uh, I've got 39 now on Twitch. <laughs> so there are more weird. So there is an so the whatever the amount of people that are watching. Uh, let's let's uh, go and see. Um, I mean, a person to playing raid is Mothman. Hobby. Oh, hobbies Mothman. hobbies started. Okay, right. Well, yeah. And and it's playing the Mothman game. Yes. So go say ho hello. Yes. To Hobby Town. Hobby's great. They are. Good Hobby people. is a friend. Yes. Um, and I expect to see at least thirty eight people in that fucking raid queue, you bastards. <laughs> but yeah, so Not thank you for thirty one. <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your Saturday. Um, yes. And we're going to go away and we're going to, you know, spend the next two hours talking about Monster Hogs. Um, probably. Probably. Uh, anyway, um, you'll take care and uh, we will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.